Danny, what are you doing up there? I've been living up here for months. Got a package from Mr. DeVito? Oh, my bacon sniffing horn. Oh, smell that bacon. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now we're talking. Freshly prepped every morning. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. We see the promises you make. Doing more than your fair share. Working twice as hard. Saving lives, changing lives. And your life's work deserves nothing less than a lifetime guarantee. You made a promise. So did we. DIAA's promise of a guaranteed retirement paycheck for life is a promise that pays off. On campuses nationwide, the NCAA is making transformative changes for student athletes. While they pursue their biggest dreams, we're launching new initiatives to help them. Life-changing education opportunities are just the start. The NCAA is providing enhanced mental health services. We're guaranteeing scholarships and tuition and expanding access to health care. Visit NCAA.org slash change to learn more. Dave, I just wanted to make sure you were happy with how the show is going. Show? Um, stupid pet tricks. I am your stupid human host, Sarah Silverman. I will be your guru of giggles, your doula of delight, your oracle of, oh, yes, you are. Nobody get Oh! How high were you when you came up with this idea? <laughs> From executive producer David Letterman, Sarah Silverman hosts Stupid Pet Tricks. All new Mondays at 9 on TBS and anytime on the app. The stage is set. All the pieces in place. To the ones left waiting for something new. The show every day. An absolute bomb that was worth the wait. And those who kept us wanting more. That's right. A new star on the rise. And they'll be Tuesday on TBS is here. Yeah. Yeah. Big names, big stars, big moments. It's time to play ball. When these two teams get together, it's bigger than a little bit of it. Chase Hunter and one Grant Nelson dominating right now. Clemson responds once again. Oh, springs free, reigns it in. These two have put on a clinic. Nelson, a foul, it goes and one. Clemson's going to the Elite Eight. And Alabama is going to the Elite Eight. The stakes seem so much higher. Later on TBS, a second spot in the Final Four is on the line when Clemson faces Alabama to determine how the West region will be won. And tonight, Chris Stewart, the voice of Crimson Tide, will, will sit on press row in hopes of finishing his broadcast saying Alabama advances to their first Final Four ever. For Chris, this was a night he thought might never come. Our confidential crew tells his story and why he's beloved by the Alabama community. Free throw missed, Bill. Even it's blocked. It's blocked. Nelson blocked it. And Alabama is going to the Elite Eight for the second time in school history. I'm Chris Stewart. I'm the play-by-play -play announcer for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Coach for Chris Stewart, Crimson Tide Sports Network. We talk about your play. To have the play-by-play -play job means the world because it's Alabama. It's also a huge responsibility. To be the voice of the Tide for hoops is not something I take lightly. 2018, uh, I went to bed at midnight. Uh, I woke up about 12 hours later at a hospital. I said, well, where am I? They said, you're in the hospital. I said, why? So he had a stroke. It's a miracle that I lived, let alone that amazingly with what I do, there were no speech issues. I only had a muscle droop in my left eye that required me to wear a patch over the eye, in which case I looked a little like John Wayne and I kind of liked it. I thought I was out of the woods. You know, you think that's the biggest thing that you'll encounter, and, and it was tough. It was frightening. But you think you're through it when you've recovered from that. 16 months after my stroke, I had bypass surgery. I only had blockage in one artery, but it was the Widowmaker, and it was 95% blockage. I developed pneumonia, MRSA, sepsis, rhabdomyolysis, all of my major organs 
began to shut down. I was in a coma for two weeks. I lost from 165 pounds down to 115. And at one point, my family was told, get people that want to tell him goodbye to come in, because he's not going to make it. And truly, by the grace of God, um, I started to get better. Hey guys, I it was a long here. road. A I had to before. learn to walk you again. I had to learn how to do come basically on, everything again. I'm not going to dunk it when I get to the other end of the house. And, uh, let's have Word spreads very fast. And here, everybody, I think, on under the, the sun knew go. what was going on. But I right never back. knew that I mattered. It's about Alabama. It's about the Crimson Tide. I don't know that I fully felt part of it. Before the 2019-2020 season gets started, I'm supposed to go to therapy. Somebody came in and said, you're not going to therapy today. You got company. And I looked up. Nate Oates, Herb Jones, and Kyra Lewis walk into my room. Nate Oates had not coached a game at the University of Alabama yet. I didn't think the guy really even knew who I was. And he makes a gesture like that. When people do the things for you that they did for me, I never knew that I was truly family at Alabama. But until then, it's pretty special. Nelson! Oh, mercy! He's got a enthusiasm that our fan base loves and it's a lot easier to bring some enthusiasm to it when you're a real fan. Chris fighting through that and still being here at Alabama with his excitement and, and his joy. If you've been to Alabama you know Chris Stewart's voice. You hear that voice you know you, you're that's it's a legend. I mean just hearing him say let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and head to LA. It's great to have him here, you know, all he went through. It's a blessing that he's still here to call another Elite Eight game. Teams winning and getting the opportunities are rare. I don't take it for granted. But on the personal level, the fact that I do get to experience this, to do an Elite Eight, I know how fortunate I am. I know how truly blessed I am. And man, I am so grateful that I get to do it. Well, that's just flat out remarkable. Mm. That is mm. that is an yeah. unbelievable story of determination and of, of just I, you, you can't believe not only that he's survived that, but he's thriving still at the at the microphone. What an what an amazing story! Another miracle in March, and you know one of the great connective tissue components and inspiring components of this event is the platform that the games provide for its people in all aspects of their roles within it so that we can be inspired by their stories, their journeys, their triumphs, their overcoming. And that's part of what makes this time of year so special because the platform of basketball gives us a chance to see some of these stories. Well, number one, uh, it just let you know, we always talk about who heroes and people are, man. Nurses and doctors are heroes. Yeah. Uh, teachers, yeah. firemen, policemen, people like they're heroes. But I also want to give a shout out to the great Eli Gold uh, at Alabama who does their football game. One of the greatest to ever do it. And Mr. Stewart, I'm glad he's healthy. But, man, we always talk about heroes, man. Doctors, nurses, teachers, those are heroes, man. And thank God he had great doctors and yeah. I'm glad he's healthy. You know, you talk about a connecting tissue. He said he didn't realize he was fam family. You know, we had the same thing at the University of North Carolina, Woody Durham, yeah. someone that yeah. we we always thought was part of the team. Yeah. Uh, you know, we always Here thought we our go, secretaries, guys, Angela Lee and, and, and Miss Linda, like those people helped uh, us every step off. of the they way. So when you when you make a step, you always knew that you were it was bigger than you. And so we, we appreciate it down to a level where you guys can hear both me and uh, the guys on the mic, like that, I think the inside crew. We got Illinois, the fighting Illini tonight going up against the Yukon Huskies live on fourth quarter sports. Welcome to the stream. Uh, hopefully you guys are ready for a great game. I am. And it's good to be back after being sick for a couple days. I'm starting to come out of it, starting to feel a lot better. So we're here and we're going to get this thing popping off. Welcome to fourth quarter sports. remembers that. And those guys this is the world's illest, sickest, team. dopest, and, and most fire live play-by-play -play play channel on YouTube. You got Without it. a doubt, uh, we're getting really close uh, to 20,000 subscribers. We're at 19,719 as tip-off approaches here. The, uh, the Yukon Huskies 
are the favorites. Come in number yeah, one Giants. in the tournament. Illinois ranked three. Uh, Illinois averaging more points, 84.2 points per game. Uh, UConn, 81.6. Looking at those points per game, though, Shannon Jr. has been a dog, man. 23 and a half points per night. Uh, Newton, Spencer, and Carbion uh, on the other side. Carbon, uh, he has 13.6, Spencer 14 and a half, and Newton 15.3 coming into today's ball game. Uh, if you guys are in the stream, jump into the chat, say hello. Let's get this thing popping off. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. I think we're going to do two games on the channel tonight. We are ready to go. We're ready to get this thing started. Let's bring up our out-of-town scoreboard as we uh, get ready for tip-off in this one. It's a switch. Gonna refresh All our safe. ticker screen. Make sure everything's oh, up to date. Friend. You need a hobby. Nance goes like hard so. to the paints. And uh, we are good to go. So two games uh, in the men's okay. side of the tournament tonight. Uh, <laughs> Illinois and UConn Great and then Clemson and versus Alabama. And like I said, I think we'll do both of those games as long as the schedule bags. will permit me. It looks like it's going to. Uh, make sure you guys vote on the live poll today. Let me know who you guys think is going to win today's matchup. And uh, fasten your seatbelts because this is going to be a really good game. We're getting down to the wire winner moves on to the final four physical sport and uh this is going to be a lot of fun tonight, so welcome in hopefully you guys are ready for a great game it's a sign of hard work you got to push yourself to the i know i am this is going to be fun just had a nice meal had some fries supreme nice heavy meal so i got to get a red bull into me to wake myself back up and uh, make sure that i have all my energy to give to you guys here tonight during the live streams welcome in everybody where all the legends at if the legends are in the building i want to see you guys in the chat so that's all the new subscribers the old subscribers uh the moderators everybody that's been through the through, through the streams here through the tournament and uh welcome in we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight as we always do here on the channel uh, if you guys are new, my name is Big Zig. This is the fourth quarter sports live stream. We're getting close to tip off, and uh, this is going to be a wild one. I got a feeling this is going to be one of the best games of the tournament. Uh, hopefully, I'm right, and uh, hopefully, we'll have a fire and amazing game for you guys uh, today, as I expect we will. Even though Top Seed UConn has put together its don dominant NCAA tournament run, it isn't expecting to walk right by the third seeded Illinois team. Uh, when they meet tonight, uh, the Huskies 34 and 3 have won their first three games of the tourney by an average of 28.7 points. Most recently, uh, beating the fifth seeded San Diego State 82 to 52, a 30 point win for them. Uh, this is going to be fun, man. This is going to be fun. Uh, however, UConn coach Dan Hurley isn't taking the fighting Illini lightly. Illinois is one of the best teams in the country, said Hurley. With one of the best teams in the country, we expect a 40-minute war going into every game. And I think uh, that's what we're going to see today. I think it's going to be a straight-up 40-minute war, both these teams going at it, slugging it out here until we get to the get to the finish of this one. Uh, let me know, know how our audio is in the chat. If the audio is on point, then we are good to go. As uh, the broadcast right now is just about to get started here for tip-off. While we have yet to reach our final destination, Elite Eight. It's already been one heck of a run. Chance to go to the final four. Here we go, folks. Who will it be? Will it be Illinois Andy, or UConn? Will we get an upset, upset tonight? We can get some upsets uh, throughout this tournament. Keep tournament has been shoulders. unbelievable, man. The product that uh, the NCAA has put out this year for March Madness has been incredible. And uh, I don't expect anything less than that here again tonight. I think it's going to be a fun one. I think we're going to have a really, really good game tonight. Uh, like we've had pretty much the full way through this tournament. The tournament has been awesome. It's been electric. UConn, I think, should get the win tonight. They're going to get my vote, but uh, I'm not going to put anything past Illinois. Uh, Monkey Business in the, in the uh, stream, he says, I hit the like button. Have a good stream. Thank you very much. We'll see how this one goes. First uh, one like this. Every other one I've been doing kind of vertical. Tonight I decided to do it up, switch it up a little bit different, go back to our original OG format, and uh, hopefully the legends will come in. That's all I can hope for. The raw emotions of this tournament. Hopefully I'm not drinking There's nothing like it in this Red Bull for nothing. Can't really put it in the words, really. It's just... But the channel's been popping off, man. Crazy. Endings are, are tough. 
over 500 subscribers in the last uh, last month or so. Last few weeks has just been crazy. Since this tournament started, the support you guys have been bringing the channel has been unbelievable. And uh, hopefully that will continue uh, once again here tonight. I just want to thank I'm going to bring the stream up on my phone because nobody's letting me know how the audio levels are in the chat, so I'm going to double check it myself uh, right now, so just bear with me. I'm going to mute my microphone so you guys don't get any background noise, but I'll still be here. Uh, so strap on in, get in the chat, and let's uh, let's turn it up tonight. We welcome I, did, you to I hit it too, <laughs> like uh, shift change, back to that time, says the hell. Thank you very much. Goes from sweet to elite. In Hollywood, dreams do come true. Yes, they do. For the first time in 20 years. The, the fellows in Chapel Hill, Jared, they don't have practice tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Who could have imagined the wolf pack? Your audio level audio audio. might be a little yeah. bit low. So uh, let's try to switch that. Elite. I will be stunned if anybody beats them. And then there were eight. Man, you just never get tired of it. Uh, those highs and those There we lows, go. I think we should be pretty good right now. What we've seen as we go into action today. You know, Let's I go see how it goes. Grambling State. The we have about nine in the time. building. Let's get the double the digits. Let's get those tournament. likes up the double digits, too. We're at eight. Tip off win. coming right up here. In their first trip Live the on I'm fourth quarter sports. Once the game starts, like we'll get rid of the game audio. I'll just call the game <laughs> as I, I, I normally do. I can't remember all of our wins, but I can remember every year of my and life. let's have some coach, fun. I remember who we lost to in the tournament. I remember the loss. It's crushing. So I feel for those guys. So I'm going to shut up here for a minute, let you guys listen champions. to the final little uh, bit here of this pregame. And uh, here we go. Uh, Harold, we can't show the full game. YouTube does not allow that, unfortunately, but I will uh, keep you up to date with everything that happens as it happens. Uh, if, I wish I could show the show the full game in the audio, dude, but it uh, kind of is what it is. I don't make the rules, but i got to play by them. This thing is a close second. It's an honor and a privilege to do this every year. And that is all for us for now, at least uh, up next here on TBS. The Illini and the Huskies playing for a spot in the final four. Enjoy the game, everybody. This is the Nissan NCAA tip-off. So we're going to commercial break. The next thrilling matchup. We killed that audio. Put on a little background music for you guys, and let's get ready for this thing to tip off. Here we go. There you go, says Valhalla. Audio levels must be a lot better, so we're good to go. Shannon Jr. has been balling, man. This guy is for real. I think Illinois probably has the best player uh, in the tournament. Not in the tournament, but in this game. So you got to give them a little bit of a swing in, in that direction if you're going for Illinois. Illinois is a number three ranked team coming into this. I know UConn is ranked number one, uh, but... I think Illinois is, is a team that has what it takes to potentially knock off this UConn team. UConn trying to go back-to-back, -back, win back-to-back -back national championships, which is not easy to do. Uh, they're going to have a real test tonight when they face off against the Fighting Illini tonight. We need uh, a couple more likes to get up to double digits. Welcome to the stream. My name is Big Zig. This is the fourth quarter sports live stream. We do this thing pretty much every single day. Uh, we have a lot of fun here. Typically, we get some pretty good crowds in here. Hopefully, tonight will uh, be some more of that. And the uh, main thing is, hopefully, we'll have a great game and have some fun in the process. The bracket right now is winding down. This is for a trip to the Final Four. And uh, then you get a chance to go to the National Championship game if you win this one and win one more. So, uh, right now, it's getting down to the nitty-gritty, baby. It's getting down to the nitty-gritty. Uh, you can see we got our stats board up there. Let you guys see what all the players are averaging so far, uh, what the team stats are so far this year, and once we get the game going, that'll be updated live as we go. So you guys, if you guys have prop bets or player bets, uh, anything like that going on, you guys will be able to follow along right there on our on our center screen. Uh, welcome to the show, and uh, let's get after it, everybody. Let's get after it. Show is starting right now. Up next, Clemson. Clemson, man. They, 
They are looking really good too, man. I don't even know. This is going to be such a hard uh, last week or so of this tournament to call. All these teams are so good. It's not going to be easy, man. It's not going to be easy to figure out who's going to get this W and walk away with the wins here as we come down the stretch. So we'll start off with Illinois and UConn. Excuse me. And then after that one, later tonight, if this one goes well, we will have that Clemson game on the channel tonight. So uh, let's get it going, man. Let's have some fun. Shout out to Harold, who says, are they showing the full game? I We can't do it, dude. We can't. Both teams are on the floor right now. Tip-off coming up right next. We're in TD Garden, the garden in Boston, Mass. Boston stand up. UConn stand up. You know there's going to be some, uh, definitely going to be some UConn fans in the building here tonight in the garden. And then Illinois trying to play underdog here, trying to play bracket buster tonight here against the Huskies. Clemson, Alabama next. And then Tennessee versus Purdue on Sunday. NC State versus Duke on Sunday as well. So a lot of games coming up. Just uh, turn this phone off. There we go. So Illinois, UConn. Just minutes away from tip-off. Let's get it popping, man. This is going to be a fun, fun game. I think a lot of people are underestimating Illinois. I think they really have a legit chance of coming here and maybe sending the defending national champions home. Shout out to Valhalla, Monkey Business, Harold, Daniel Barry, everybody that's been in the chat so far tonight. If you guys want a shout out and you're, and you're in here, uh, do not be afraid to jump in that chat. One of my favorite things about doing these live streams uh, is talking to you guys in the chat, man. You guys are a lot of fun. You guys are the reason why my channel is as successful as it has been. We just hit 5 million views on the channel last night. Uh, so shout out to everybody that helped us reach that milestone. We also have the 20,000 subscriber milestone uh, in our sights. We're staring down the barrel, man. It's in the crosshairs. Less than 300 subscribers to go to hit 20,000. Great game today between LSU and UCLA in the women's side. Sweet 16. Watching some highlights from that one right now. Ladies getting fired up. LSU takes the dub. They move on. This is going to be... Uh, a wild, wild Saturday night here when it comes to March Madness, man. The madness continues live on fourth quarter sports. So uh, the LSU will play Iowa next. South Carolina is going to play Oregon. Texas against NC State on the women's side. UConn looking to defend their title tonight. Every game is the biggest game of your life right now if you're one of these players, no matter which side you're on. The Huskies already have a championship, but this is a what have you done for me lately type of game, and tonight is what matters. Not yesterday, not tomorrow at this point. It's what can you do for me today, and you're going to play your best game tonight if you want to come away with the victory and get a trip to the final four. Let's go. This is going to be a fire game, man. I think down the stretch here in the tournament that every game is going to be just so competitive. The tournament has been unbelievable. It's been spectacular. UConn, Illinois will play the winner of Alabama Clemson. And then we have Duke, NC State, and they'll play the winner of Purdue, Tennessee, those games tomorrow. And that'll set our final four, the Elite Eight. Here we go. UConn plus 86 point differential in the first three rounds, coming off a 30 point win in the Sweet 16. They have been dominant. 
They have looked unbelievable. But this is a tournament where one bad game and your season's over. Welcome to fourth quarter sports, everybody. It's where legends are made. If you guys jump into the chat, hit that subscribe button. You guys can become legends too. It's just that simple. Where else can you just click your mouse or touch your phone screen one time and become an official legend? If I was you, I'd be all over that shit. Let's go. Illinois right now, I don't think, though, is too worried about what UConn's going to do. They have to be they have to be really focused and have a great game plan today and come in and buy into that game plan, execute it, and I think if they do that, they'll have a chance down the stretch. I think this game's going to be close. I think it's going to come down to the wire. Two great basketball teams, two great schools are uh, going to go at it tonight. Two minutes away from tip-off. Welcome to FQS. Yeah, I'm going to disappear for one sec, let you guys listen into the final seconds here of the pregame, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got to mute that because it is a copyrighted song. So I'll come back on the mic here for a minute. The broadcast will come back on here, and I'll put that on for you guys to finish off the pregame. But tip off now, just a little over a minute away. Excuse me, guys. My uh, throat's still a little bit raw. I was sick over the last few days. Starting to feel better, though, so that's always good news. There we go. We're getting some people up in the stream. Let's get it. Who gets the win tonight? Let me know in the live poll. Let me know in the chat. You guys got Illinois, the Fighting Illini, or the Yukon Huskies? Grrr. Let's go. Beat up that like button. Beat that like button like you want your team to beat the other tonight. Let's go. Let me know where you guys are coming from, too, man. Where are you guys coming from? Represent your city. Represent your school. Let's go. Riz says, I've got my Illini. Attaboy, Riz. Fly in your school's colors. I love it, man. Good luck to you tonight. This is going to be a great game. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream, my man. Shout out to Riz. The Riz God in the building. So we're going to let you guys listen in to um, some of the uh, pregame here once it comes back on during a commercial break right now. So I jump back on the mic for a second. Uh, but once the game gets going, I will be doing the play-by-play -play and letting you guys know. Shout out to Japan. Japan in the building. Shout out to Japan. Appreciate you coming through. Actually, we're not going to get any more pregame. Both teams are lining up right now. Tip off from Boston, Massachusetts. The Elite Eight men's side of the tournament. About to pop off. March Madness is for reals. This is going to be awesome. Let's turn up my TV and get right into this thing. There's the jump ball. UConn wins it. They control it. Hoskies over half court. Into the corner, down low. Nice pass. Missed, and now a wedgie. Jump ball. Ball gets wedged in between the rim and the backboard. Just 
going to refresh our ticker here, or sorry, our center screen, our stat screen. Fighting Illini with it now. They win the jump ball. They get it off. Screen back to the point. Now worked over to the wing. Crossover, drive, step through middle. Good defense by the Huskies, and they get the stop. Oh, they get it back, a dive, a loose ball. And now what are they going to say? Conversation here as the ball was tied up. We're going to scroll down so you guys can see the player stats as they happen here live. Well, they're going to call this a shot clock violation against Illinois, and it will be UConn basketball. We're also going to refresh our scoreboard, guys, so bear with me. It's 2 nothing. Inside, and there's the basket right there. A slam dunk. An easy one for the Huskies to get the story, scoring started here tonight. Let's get our scoreboard up and functioning. Three ball short. Long rebound chased down by UConn. Out on the break. Off the window, no. Rebound. Put back in the foul. Klingon has the first four for the Huskies and a chance to get the first five. Lonnie says seven foot four should be an easy layup. I agree, Lonnie. If I was seven foot four, and played any basketball in my life. I hope I'd be able to make a layup. There's the free throw. It's good. It's 5 nothing. UConn. Illinois better pick it up here. You don't want to dig yourself too big of a hole. Clinging all five points so far for the Huskies. Fighting Illini. Trying to look for their first bucket of the night. Hand off at the elbow. Spin into the paint. Nothing there. Got to get rid of it. Shot clock's winding down. Down to the post. Stolen away by Klingon. Klingon picks it up off the floor to Newton. Cross court. Kessel back to Klingon. Klingon. Hand off. Newton. Down the lane. Lefty layup. Leaves it short. Klingon the rebound. Stolen away from him by the Illini. Illinois now out on the break. They'll slow it down. Good job by UConn getting back in transition. And the block down low. Sends that thing out of bounds. It's still going to be Illinois ball. But Carabon says, get that garbage out of here. No, 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 no. Connecticut's got that size on the inside. Nice pass into the middle of the lane. The floater, no. Ball is loose. It's bouncing around. It's grabbed and controlled by the Huskies. <clears throat> If you're in the stream, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Welcome in. My name is Big Zig. Don't be shy to jump into the chat. Spencer to Castle. Castle, no. Put back is good for Klingon. Another bucket for him. He has all seven UConn baskets. Excuse my voice, guys. Been sick for the last couple days. Down low, and I think finally Illinois is going to be able to get on the board here with a foul. They'll head to the line. It's a foul against Klingon. That's his first. On the floor, as you can see, on the center of your screen right now, we have Klingon, Carabon, Castle, Newton, and Spencer for Connecticut. Uh, Illinois is Rogers, uh, Guier, Domas, Shannon, and Hawkins. We got Rogers going to the line here right now for the Fighting Illini. And he misses the first free throw. That's terrible. Come on. Bullshit. That's complete and utter bullshit. Crowd here in Boston is going crazy. Rogers free throw, no good. 
DB's cool music says, I'm hoping Illinois can pull off the victory. They better pick it up, man. They just missed two fucking free throws here. Still have a big old zero on the board. Castle cross court. Worked around a three. Nope. Rebound will go to Illinois. Up the floor. Rogers attacking. Kicks it. Outside and a turnover. They step on the end line. What are they doing? What are they doing? Illinois just has to calm down, man. They're just a little too excited here. Maybe the nerves are getting to them a little here early on. Standing out of bounds, trying to pass the ball down on the baseline. You've got to be aware of where your feet are. The lob up top, throw down. Let's go. Johnson gets his first two, the first UConn player here to get one. Other than the big fella, now a drive and a foul. And Illinois will go back to the line. Fouls on Newton. Four minutes off the clock here already early in this one. And Connecticut leading the race. 9-0. Illinois still unable to get a bucket, man. What are they doing, guys? What are they doing? You guys are you guys with me? Do you guys think it's think it's nerves or what? That was, this has been some ugly play here. They're going to get a chance at the free throw line to get themselves on the board, but this is not the start that you were hoping for. If you're a, a, an Illini fan or a member of this team or coaching staff, that's for sure. Definitely coming out here a little bit stuck in the mud trying to get some traction. they got to get their game off. Hopefully this timeout will be able to settle them down a little bit and let them get back into their game and get back into their actions here. So far tonight, clinging, dominant, dominant. He had the first seven points of this basketball game. He's seven points, three rebounds. Uh, the only other Husky to score so far is Johnson. That one came off a pretty alley-oop. And if you look on that Illini side of her column, all zeros, all zeros. They just called one, DB. They did just call one. Uh, I agree with you, man. This time might, timeout could be huge. They get some free throws coming up. Just got to settle them down a little bit. Settle them down. Get back into the game plan. This is not the start you want it, though, if you're, if you're Illinois. Shout out to everybody in that chat. DB, Lonnie, Riz, Valhalla, Monkey Business. Shout out to Daniel Barry. Uh, everybody that's over there in that chat, man, if you guys want to join the chat, that would be awesome. I love talking to you guys in the chat. It's one of my favorite things about doing these live streams is talking to you guys, getting to know you guys. we got a lot of smart basketball fans uh, that come in here and enjoy these games with me. And uh, hopefully we got some of you guys in here tonight. If you guys also have any bets or anything like that going on, let me know, and I'll try to keep you guys up to date on what players are doing. If that uh, has any regards to the bets you guys have placed today, um, let me know where you guys put your money, man. It's always interested to see uh, where the sports bettors are laying their money tonight. Illinois, underdogs tonight coming into this one. And right now they're looking like underdogs. 9 nothing. UConn. Still lots of basketball left to be played, though. Still lots of time. Let's just make these... So, last game, UConn won by 30 to get here to the Elite Eight. They've uh, outscored their opponents throughout this tournament by over 80 points. I think it's 82 points they've outscored their opponents. And that big 30-point win was a big part of that uh, in that last outing. Here we go. Illinois going to step up to the line, trying to get their first points of the after of the not the afternoon of the night. Marcus Domask at the line. No good again. Are you fucking kidding me? That's terrible. Three missed free throws here for Illinois. You got to hit some free throws here, guys. Finally, first one is good. Finally on the board now is Illinois. They break the goose egg. Maybe that'll open the floodgates. Let's 
Spencer with it. Right side wing. Gives it off to Newton. Newton cut off. Back to Spencer. Spencer driving middle. Spins. Back the other way. Pump fake. Kicks it out. Newton for three. Nope. High bounce off the rim and the rebound controlled here by Domask. Domas directing traffic, backing it down. Domas down low, nice pass and a dunk. Guier gets his first two of the day. And don't look now, but it's still only a two-possession ball game. DB says sometimes that first bucket is the hardest. The first cut is the deepest. Kicked out Spencer, driving middle, hanging in the air, floats it home, and the Huskies increase the lead. It's too easy right there. Illinois has to be better defensively. Spencer at 18 against San Diego State in the Sweet 16. Hawkins to Damask. He'll drive. Lefty, there it is. The floodgates look like they're open. The flight fighting the line eye are now back into this thing. 11-5. Spencer, pump fake, nothing there. Kicks it out. The three. No good. Wide open look. Unable to get it to fall. Are the Huskies. Hawkins. Kicks it. Now back to Hawkins. Drive. Hawkins spins the hook. Rims out. Good defense by Connecticut. Newton off a nice screen. He'll go left. Cut off on the baseline. Throws it back out up top. Castle kicks it back behind him. Back to Newton. Number one offense in college basketball. The Huskies playing like it. The drive and a foul. So Newton will go to the strike. Welcome to the game, guys. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate everybody coming in. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. 13.26 left to go here in the first half. Newton at the strike. It's good. 12-5. Our scoreboard's about oh, 10 seconds ahead of us, but we'll live with that. Both free throws are good. So 13-5. University of Connecticut. So mask up top, waits for a screen, doesn't get it, he'll kick it off. Gets a screen from Hawkins, kicks it out. Drive, Gary A, no good. Offensive rebound, three ball, no mask! Bang! It's good. And we got a ball game. Illinois has this thing down to five. Up top, Johnson. Hand off to Spencer. Spencer fakes right. Gives it off. The three ball. No good for Carabon. Rebound here comes Illinois. It's like they're shot out of a cannon right down the lane. It's a one possession game. 13 to 10. Let's fucking go. This thing's getting interesting now. Shannon, 23 and a half points per game this year. Third in the NCAA. See if Shannon can get his game going here for Illinois. Newton, Euros, lefty, high off the glass, nowhere's near good. Now Hawkins on the break, kicks it out, good for three. Ugh, that was ugly. Rebound, juggled, but controlled by the, by the Huskies. Spencer kicks it into the corner. Diara 
Cuts out, brings it back up top. Gets a screen from Johnson, goes the other way, hangs in the air, banks, and it rattles home. Let's get that chat going, guys. This is the chance to go to the Final Four, baby. Domas from long range. Splash. Four. Three. Spencer outside to Newton. Newton to Johnson. Back to Spencer. They work it around the other side to Diara. Diara, left side wing. Pump fake. Kicks it. Johnson passed. Deflected out of bounds, but only 1.4 left on the shot clock here to get a shot off and a timeout. What a game. What a start. Illinois was terrible to get this thing started. Couldn't even hit free throws, but somehow, some way, they are back into this thing. Only trail by two. Welcome to fourth quarter sports, everybody. We got a timeout on the floor, and we got a ball game. We got a ball game. We got 32 up here in the house. Welcome to the best live play-by-play -play channel on YouTube. It's not even close. Uh, you guys were looking for the best, and you guys came to the right place. Uh, jump into the chat, and let's get this thing popping. Illinois starting to find their rhythm. Uh, being led right now by Domask, who has nine points uh, for the fight in the line. I we air with uh, with two, Shannon with two. I'd like to see Shannon get his game going. Uh, leading the way for Connecticut is Klingon. He had the first seven points of this ball game. Uh, Johnson with two, Newton with two, Spencer with two, and Diara with two. So a little bit more of a well-rounded attack today from Connecticut, even though they are getting led by Klingon for the most part. Uh, but Domask has really. Uh, kept this Illinois team in the game today and they're going to need a lot more of that from him and you're going to need Shannon to get going he's the third third highest scorer in the NCAA this year and he needs to come out here after this timeout and start playing like it let me know your predictions in the chat guys I asked you guys in the live poll today uh, who do you guys think will get the win and move on to the final four so far, 74% of you guys are rolling with the Huskies. So, shout out to all the Husky fans in here. Shout out to the Illinois fans as well. Uh, I think we're going to be in store for a battle. I was thinking it was going to be a war, and this was going to be a close game right down to the wire pregame. And then the Illinois start kind of scared me a little bit. I thought they might start falling off, but they have come alive, and they're starting to make a push now. But we know basketball is a game of runs, and anything can happen. You know the uh, the Huskies are going to go back on another run here too. Mark McCarthy says, I'm watching my Battle Hawks while hanging with the legends. Go Illinois. Shout out to you, man. Legends in the building. And if you guys came here, you guys made a good choice, man, because your boy Big Zig does not miss. If you guys don't believe me, ask my man Snoop Dogg. This motherfucker don't miss. No, See? he's fucking good. I'm good. They know it. You guys know it. So uh, hopefully you guys are ready and enjoy the show tonight. Let's go. Who's here for the first time? Who's the fourth quarter sports virgin? Who's in here for the first time? If you're uh, if you're a newbie, if you're a first timer, jump into that chat and introduce yourself. Welcome to fourth quarter sports. Back to the action we go. Both teams in the huddle right now. They're going to have to break and come back out on the floor here after the timeout. Number one seed, UConn Huskies. Trying to defend their national championship here and go back to back. Here we go. Inbound it, clinging. No good, short. And Illinois with the rebound and a chance to tie or take the lead if they hit a three. Drive, blocked. No good, great defense by the Huskies. Spencer gives it off to Castle. He stopped. Fight for the loose ball. Bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. And it goes out of bounds. Squirts free of the pack and it's going back to Illinois. Clinging down there. He just was not able to get it. 
And, ooh, yeah, that was out off Connecticut. Good call by the officials. So once again, another chance for Illinois to tie or take the lead. Domask with it over half court. Ball poked away from him. He'll get it back. Tracks it back down in the backcourt. Back court, crossover. One foot in the paint. Fades away. Air ball. Ooh. That's terrible. Ugly. Ugly. No calls here going the way of Illinois, but even when they have gone Illinois' way, they haven't been able to hit the free throws tonight. Illinois, 2 of 4 from 3. Huskies, 0 for 4, unable to hit one yet. Spencer tries for one, and it's another brick. It's no good. They keep giving Illinois chances to take the lead. Sooner or later, later they're going to do it. There's a shot to tie it. It spills off the rim. Huskies catch a break. Spencer's over half court, fades over to the left. Into the paint, just inside the foul line. Nice pass, baseline on the cut. And the bucket is good for Diara. He'll lay it home. He now has four on the night. Domas is holding it here, standing on the logo at center court, waits for a screen. Goes to the right, Diara stays in front of him. Back and down, spinning. Lowers the shoulder, fades away. Great defense. Shot is nowhere near good. Saved by Illinois, but it goes out of bounds anyway. They save it on the baseline. It goes out of bounds on the sideline. Huskies ball. Let's go. That chat going, baby. Pop off. This is, a, this is for a chance to go to the Final Four, man. I need you guys to get loud, man. I thought college fans were crazy. Let's go. Support your school, man. Support your squad. Let's go Huskies chance here in the building at the Garden. Huskies fans getting into it in the building. I need the Huskies fans to get at it in the stream. There's Klingon just manhandling the defense on the inside. And he, uh, he now has nine. Four or six from the floor is Klingon. Stop. Step through. Scoop shot. No good for Rodgers. He'll get his own rebound. Where the hell is Shannon at, man? Come on, Shannon, do something. Drive blocked by Klingon. Goes outside. Hawkins can't hit it. And now we get a whistle and a foul on the floor. It's going against UConn. It's on Castle. Klingon right now playing some bully ball, doing it on both sides. Just tell Spencer or spell tell Shannon to get that weak shit out of here. Swatting that thing away. Fortunate for Illinois, though, they do retain possession here. Nineteen thirteen, UConn. Illinois had their chances here. They had four or five chances to tie this thing up or take the lead, and they weren't able to do it. And now another block shot. Clinging. No, 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 no. Get that weak-ass garbage out of here. Not today. The kitchen's closed. Two-handed blocked ball goes out of bounds. Still going to stay with the fight in the line eye here. Rogers going to be the inbounder. Throws it in up top. Looks for Shannon. Shannon gets it. Back down to Rogers, and he blows the bunny. The easy one underneath. Come on. Outside pump fake. The other. Brick. Domas with the rebound. He tracks it down. Drive. Rodgers. Blocked again. Man, he is a brick wall under there tonight. Diara going to back it up. Set up the offense. Drops it off now for Castle. Castle to Stewart. Back to Castle now to Diara on the left side wing. Down low in the post. They find Klingon. Back and down on Hawkins. Hawkins undersized. Hard to deal with him. Outside Newton with the shot clock winding down. 
Nearly gets wedged between the rim and the backboard. Ball goes out of bounds. And it will go to Illinois in another timeout. Wow. DB says Illinois needs more ball movement. Too much one-on-one -on -one here early for uh, Illinois. And I, I, I agree with you. Uh, if you're going to drive, uh, drive into the pick and roll and try to draw a double team and then kick it out. But the, 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 another big problem in this game for them so far is even when they have been aggressive and gone to the rim, uh, they're getting shut down by Klingon for one. And then when they do go to the line, they're not hitting their free throws. So uh, right now, the math is not mathing uh, for Illinois. If you're UConn, you still can't be happy with your performance here. You, you had a massive lead to start this game. Illinois was struggling. You let them back into it. Uh, you know, basketball is a game of runs. So you knew Illinois sooner or later was going to hit a few shots and go on a run of their own. UConn handled that, and now they're back on a run of their own. So we'll see if Illinois can find a way to slow down this Huskies team now. It's uh, this is a this is too big of a game. You can't let it get away from you early. You got to stay in the fight here. You got to try to keep it close and just hang in there. Bend but don't break. Bend but don't break. Uh, thank you to everybody that has joined us here so far for this game tonight. I uh, appreciate you guys all coming through. Please hit that like and subscribe. We're on the mission for 20,000 subscribers here on the channel. Uh, I think we're at 19,700. And I think it was 19 the last I checked. Let's take a look. Yeah, still 17, uh, 19,719. So less than 300 subscribers away from 20,000. The channel just hit 5 million views last night. So uh, shout out to everybody uh, that helped us hit that crazy milestone that I never thought we'd hit and uh, if you guys want to become part of the fourth quarter sports family where we do live streams all the time we do NBA we do of course college hoops that we're doing right now we do NFL we always got something going for you guys on the channel probably gonna do some baseball games here during the summer as well so uh, we always got you, you got your covered for your sports fix here at fourth quarter sports man we keep it going we keep it rolling and we keep it coming with the illest sickest dopest and most fire Live content there is on planet Earth. Let's get some background music on. Let's catch a vibe, baby. Turn up. Let's get that chat popping off. We got 33 people in here, but I, I all hear is crickets in that chat. Crickets over there. Let's give some shout outs to some people. Shout out to DB, Mark McCarthy, Lonnie, Riz, Crestini. Uh, Hopefully I said that right, Valhalla. Uh, Harold Northern, Monkey Business, and Daniel Berry in that chat. 1913 Yukon up right now. And we're over halfway through this first quarter. 720 left to go. On, uh, sorry, first half. 720 left to go here in the half. Brad Underwood. He said uh, he's not happy with some of the missed shots, but they're uh, they got to keep going in. And in attacking the rim, UConn playing really good big basketball though right now. They're doing a great job protecting that rim. Crowd here in Boston is insane. You guys prefer the background music on or off? Let me know in the chat. I'll do whatever you guys prefer here as I call the game. Shannon driving, stopping, cut off by Castle, kicks it out to Hawkins. Hawkins looks for a screen. Now he just plays with the ball. Takes it baseline. Going to back down. Lowers the shoulder. Kick to the corner. Pump fake. There you go. Take it and he blows the dunk. Illinois, get your shit together. Zero points for Illinois in nearly five minutes. 4.48 without a bucket as the clock continues to grow that number. Drive. Newton going right. Takes the contact, puts it up over Shannon. Good defense right there by the leading scorer here for Illinois. Drive. Nice drive. Good. Good gets the bucket. Antoine wants the music off. Done. Just like that, Antoine. Clinging handoff. Castle. Castle to the corner, Newton. 
Back to Castle, down low, Klingen. Klingen spinning, kicks it, swing pass, outside, Castle Brick. Offensive rebound, Spencer, he's blocked from behind. Here we go the other way. And a defensive foul going against the Huskies. Just going to refresh our stat screen, guys, so bear with me here for a second while we do that. While we kind of sort out what happened here on this last play on the Shannon Drive. Make sure that you guys are seeing the proper numbers and the proper players that are on the floor. So on the floor right now for Illinois, we got Domast, uh, Greer, Good, uh, Gibbs, Lawson, I think it is, and Hawkins, and then Diara Johnson, Newton, Spencer, and Carabon for the Huskies. Still going to be Illinois basketball here. They reload the shot clock. They kick it over. Domas kicks it out. Gary A. Nice little hook shot in traffic, and that one goes down. Two-point game. Klingon is out, man. When Klingon's off the floor, if I'm Illinois, man, I'm attacking that rim every single time. Spencer kicks it over. Diara with it now. Straight away on the perimeter. Kickoff. Pump fake Spencer. Good defense. Good job fighting over the screen. Spencer drives, and he's fouled. So a trip to the line now for the Huskies with 5.02 left to go in the first half. March Madness. It's been special, man. Such a great tournament. Never disappoints. 40 legends up in here. Appreciate you guys rolling through tonight. So Cam Spencer, 18 points, 5 rebounds in the Sweet 16 against San Diego State. Trying to have another big game here tonight. Chance to go to the Final Four on the line. First free throw is good. Spencer with some words for Johnson. Probably trying to let him know if I miss this, I'm missing it right or left. So be ready for the rebound. Spencer, good. Gets them both. 21 to 17. Klingon liking what he sees over there on the sidelines. Domas down low to Hawkins. Hawkins backing down against Caraban. Pocket, Hawkins. Count it. Ching. It's a ball game for sure, DB. I, I thought this thing was going to be close, man. Illinois should be in the lead right now. They would have been hitting some free throws and didn't just shit to bed to start this game. So they can't be uh, hanging their head by too much. Only down two. And there is a foul on UConn. Offensive foul turnover Huskies. It's going back to Illinois. Wow. Hey, man, like I said, if the Huskies take out Klingon, attack the rim. He's, he's still on the bench. Hawkins now. High post. Caravan on him. Into the middle. Outside. Passes low for three. No, the tip won't go either. Rebound for Spencer. He takes off up the floor. Cross court. Oh, what a pass. The big fella. Slam dunk. Cock it back and bang it home, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That was a big-time dunk, too, man. He took that thing back with two hands and just wha-bam. Tried to break the rim with that one. No mask. Directing traffic. Waves. Hawkins to the other side of the floor. He wants to clear out and go one-on-one. -on -one. Spinning. Lefty. Bucket. Book it. Count it. Call it what you want to call it. I call it a bucket and two points, baby. 46 up in here. Let's go. Hit that like button, everybody. The more likes we get, the bigger the stream gets. And the more people we get in here, the more fun it is. We've had thousands of people in these streams before. Let's try to do that again tonight. Drive and a foul. That's on Domask. And that'll send, I think it was Newton. Yes, it is Newton. Newton will go to the line for the Huskies. Big dunk for Johnson. Now on the other end, you get Domas getting the bucket. 
And now some free throws coming up for Newton after the commercial break. Craziness. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? This has been a weird start, but a great game nonetheless. Two-point Huskies lead. Chance for them to add to it here with these free throws coming. But like I said, if, if I'm Illinois right now, I'm not upset with this with this score right now. They could very easily be in the lead, and with the start that they had, they could very easily be getting buried right now. So if I'm Illinois, man, I'm content with what the score is right now. And uh, now you get a, yourself in a good position where you're in a place where you can battle for this game. Let me know how you guys are feeling in the chat. If you guys have any predictions, um, you guys want to let me know who you guys are rooting for tonight, that would be great. Uh, you guys going for UConn tonight? Are you guys going for Illinois? I know we got the question in the live poll, but I'd love to see uh, who is actually going for who in that chat. When you guys click on the live poll, I just see votes. I don't know who hit who hit who hit it or, or who placed that vote. So let me know in the chat. And speaking of that poll, let's take a look at it. Uh, so far, it is UConn leading in the poll. The question in the live poll is who moves on to the final four. And UConn dominating right now in that live poll. 68% of the vote going to the Huskies. Leading the way today. Leading scorer in today's game is Domask with 13 points uh, for Illinois. I don't know where Shannon Jr. has been today, but he struggled a little bit. Only two points and a rebound for him. He's on the bench right now. Got to try to find a way to get him involved and try to find a way to get him going. Uh, Klingon on the other side, he has been dominant. He scored the first seven points of the game uh, for either team, and he's only scored two since. So Illinois has done a pretty good job with him, slowing him down at least offensively. But uh, when he's on the floor so far tonight, he's also been a big defensive presence. I think he has three blocks already tonight. My man is wreaking havoc defensively. And then nobody else really popping off for the Huskies yet. You got Johnson with four, Spencer with four, Diara with four, Newton has two. And the same thing on the other side for Illinois. Nobody other than Domas has really got it going. Uh, Gurrier has four, Hawkins two, Shannon Jr. two, but they need some help. They need some help. 9-29 from the field is Illinois. 9-26 of 26 is UConn. UConn still yet to hit a 3 0 oh for 8 from downtown. Illinois 2 for 6. Points in the paint, 16-14 to 14 in favor of the Huskies. And 5 block shots for UConn. And Illinois has 2. I miss Chief Illiniwick, says Mark McCarthy. And we're back. No, they're going to say no free throw. They're going to say that was on the floor. That was a, so no free throws foul on the floor. Pass underneath. They're looking for the lob. The clinging is broken up and stolen away by the Illini. Newton flew, threw that lob way too low. It's broken up. Gary, you could be more aggressive. Take that shot. Drive. Shannon blocked again. Klingon swatting it away, man. He is a one-man defense right now. Cross court. Swing. Newton inside Klingon. No foul. He's too far underneath the basket to get his shot to go up. It hits the bottom of the rim. Now here comes Domas again. Domas crossover. Worked it around. Gary A. Come on. Take a shot. Be aggressive. Not that one. What the hell are you shooting that for? That was a brick. Spencer kicks it. The three. No, but a rebound by Klingon and a foul on Shannon as he knocks Newton down to the floor. Uh, DB's cool music says Illinois 76, UConn 72 finale. Hope I'm right. So he's calling Illinois, getting the win by four. 2.13 on the clock here in the first. Spencer inbounds. Diara to Klingon. Now back to Spencer. Spencer off the screen. Inside pass and a foul. Send Klingon to the line. Klingon to the line to shoot. Two. Dos. Free throws on the way. 
Let's go. 63 in the hizzy. Connecticut up by two. These free throws are big. Be nice to hit them both. Make it a two-possession game. Misses the first. That's terrible. That's terrible, says Charles Barkley. Klingon, though, what a game defensively, man. She's uh, bringing out his inner Dikembe Mutombo tonight. Misses them both. Terrible bullshit. That's complete and utter bullshit. Chance for Illinois to tie it or take the lead. Here's Domask. Into the paint. Pump fake. Little push off. Gets away with it. And we got a tie game. 23-23. We're even. Back to zeros basically here. Ricky says Illinois is going to get the dub. What up, Rick? Ricky in the place to be. He knows good content and a good game when he sees it. 130 left to go. First half. Shot downtown. Spencer no good. Rebound goes to the Huskies. Bang, Diara. Hits the three. Ice in his veins, baby. Yukon gets the lead back on that three. Pass, drive, no good. What up, JJ? Drive, Newton, floater, baseline, no bucket. They're going to wave it off. It's no good. Foul on the floor here with just under a minute left. 59.2 to go. Shout out to everybody in that chat. JJ, Ricky, DB. Mark McCarthy in the building. What up, Mark? Shout out to Lonnie, Riz, Valhalla. Harold Norton, Monkey Business, Daniel Berry. If you guys are in the stream and want to shout out, jump into that chat. I'll hit you guys up. No problem. JJ, tough luck with them. Twenty-six, twenty-three. Shots from the line here coming for Newton. Torian says he's like number twenty. First free throw's good. Four-point game. Let's hit that like. Let's hit that like and subscribe, everybody. We're up to seventeen thousand. Uh, sorry, seventeen nineteen thousand seven hundred and twenty subscribers now. Both free throws are good. Domask back and down. High post. Pass deflected outside. It makes it through. What the hell was that, man? Dianja, that was garbage, dude. It's the ugliest shot of the night. And now we get a timeout. UConn. Connecticut wants to talk it over here. Up by five with 33 and a half left to go in the first half. 72 up in here. What a do, baby. Torian says Illinois struggled in the first. Got to be honest, the Huskies with my dog. Where my I? I think he meant where are my dogs at? Where are my dogs at? I can't do a very good DMX impression, or I would do one right now. Seems like it would be a good spot to do it, but I can't do it on a good day, so I'm not going to try today. So another timeout on the floor. Let's take a look at our box score there in the center of the screen. Domas, 15 points. Klingon with nine, four rebounds. Well, I get a look at something, guys. I'm going to bring a different uh, board up here in a second. Let me see what I can find. I want to see how many blocks he has now tonight. Let's bring up the box score here on my other page. Klingon blocks. The only thing is two. I gotta refresh that to make sure that that's right. 66 up in here though, guys. Let's go. Appreciate you. Yeah, they're saying they only has two, but blocks are spread around. Caravan with one, Klingon two, Castle with one, Spencer with one. Already five blocks tonight for the Yukon Huskies. 
three-point ball not falling, though, for UConn either. Only 9% from downtown. Not a great percentage today for Illinois either. They're shooting 28, uh, almost 28.5% from three, but that's still, that's when you look at 28% compared to 9%, uh, I'm rolling with that 28% all day. So commercial break. Thank you guys for tuning in. Welcome to uh, the live stream tonight. If you guys were looking for the best uh, live play-by-play feed for this game and the best live play-by-play channel in general, you guys found it. Uh, I'll be your host tonight, Big Zig. I'll be your host tonight as I am always because this is my channel and I'm up here on the daily doing these for you guys. But thank you guys for coming through, hanging out. Uh, We're over 70 in the stream right now. Do me a giant favor. Hit the like button. It only takes you guys a fraction of a second. Look, all you got to do is go pop, hit the button. One second, less than a second, 0.3 seconds to click that button. Let's do that up right now. Same thing for the subscribe button, guys. Trying to grow the channel. We're getting close to 20,000. Less than 300 away. Domask has been money. 15 points. Leading all scorers here in the first half. He has 15. The rest of the team has 8. they got to be thanking little baby Jesus. As uh, Will Ferrell would say. Little sweet. 5 pound, 8 ounce baby Jesus. Thank you. They hear me thanking, thanking him for, for Domas tonight. He's kept them in this game, and he's kept their hopes of making the Final Four alive tonight. 33 and a half seconds left, UConn basketball. Let's get rid of the background music as we get back to the play-by-play. They get it in. Newton gets it in the back backcourt. will step over half. Newton fading over towards the right side wing. Little dual screen action. Takes it left. Nothing there. Spencer has it knocked away. He'll dive on it. Get it back. He's trapped on the floor. Surrounded by orange jerseys and a shot clock violation. Turnover. Turnover. A line eye ball. 64 yard field goal. Well, we're not watching football, dog. 7.7 left to go. First half, wrapping up. Illini trying to just trim this down here a little bit, and we get another timeout. This time, Illinois wants to discuss their last play. Let's go. Up next, guys, if you guys are enjoying this one, we're going to do uh, Clemson. Versus Alabama as they fight for the right to go to the Final Four. You gotta fight for your right to party, as Travis Kelsey and the Beastie Boys would say. I hope the line I can can drop. They drop some three pointers in the second half. Drive and kick it out. I think ball movement for Illinois is going to be key. Uh, Because right now, going to the rim has been difficult, especially when Klingon's on the floor. I think you drive in, you collapse the defense, and hope your shooters can hit shots. Here's a look at the Illinois cheerleaders. Looking good, ladies. A little young for me, but I'm sure some of you guys like them. So turn that off. Here we go. Back to the action. They get it in. Here comes Shannon. Shannon, a bad first half for him and a foul by Diara in transition with three seconds left on the clock. Shannon averaged 23 and a half this year and he only has two points in this first half. They got to find a way to get him involved. They got to find a way to wake him up, man. They got to give him some of these. You guys ever had any of these? Where are they at? Smelling salts. That's what they need to give Shannon. Inside. Shannon! Off the lob. No good. The heave. Spencer can't get it to go. It's halftime. It's halftime in Boston, Mass., baby. The TD Garden. The site for this game. 28-23. I just cracked these things down underneath my desk, and I can smell them already. 
Ooh, let's take a hit of them. Time to wake up. Ah. Ah. That'll wake you up. Ooh, halftime, baby. That is that is potent, man. My eyes are water. Ooh. You guys ever try those things? Smelling salts for the win. Just made my eyes bug right out of my skull. I'll pop those things back in there. Give me a sec. Get in there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching so far. Great first half uh, for Domask. He leads all scorers tonight. Uh, leading the way for Illinois with 15. He has two uh, two rebounds and an assist. Uh, Gurrier, four and four. Four points, four rebounds, that is. Uh, two for Shannon. Two for uh, Hawkins. Not a whole lot to write home about offensively over there, unless you're Domas. Domas outscores the rest of his team in that first half. Leading the way for Connecticut. Connecticut is uh, clinging with 9.6 rebounds. Seven for Diara Newton with four. Spencer with four. Five rebounds and an assist. Carabon, no points, but he does have two rebounds and a helper. And Johnson with four and a rebound. Teddy Belcher, 4K Ultra Wide, says, I'm flipping in my bed. Hello, what's this channel about? This channel is all about live sports, dude. We do a lot of live play-by-play -play streams. We do NBA. We do NCAA, as you guys, as you can see. We do the NFL. Uh, we always get something, something going on here for you. And I uh, appreciate you coming through, Teddy. Hopefully you enjoy what you're what you're watching right now and what you're listening to. And uh, maybe we'll see you around the, the the channel a little bit more often. Thank you guys for hanging out, man. We're going to do both games tonight, guys. Both games will be live on the channel of Clemson, Alabama, right after this one. If you're in here, do me a gigantic favor. Uh, even if you guys aren't going to hit subscribe, I'm okay with that. It's totally up to you. You guys can do whatever the hell you want. You guys are your own humans. Uh, but please hit the like button. The more likes we get, the more people we get in the stream. And the more people we get in the stream, uh, the more fun we have. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, man. You guys are awesome. And without you guys, we wouldn't be nothing up here. We're on the quest for 20,000 subscribers. Uh, we're climbing. We're getting there. It's a grind. We actually got two more subscribers now. So we're at 19,722. Look at that, 19,722, thank you. Aiden Tobin says, these referees are awful. Uh, I agree with you to a point, yeah. Illinois was driving in the paint, a lot of contact. A uh, couple of plays with Domask went in, he was hacked for sure. A couple of plays uh, when Shannon went in, there was definite contact, and they weren't blowing the whistle. But if you're Illinois, as I said earlier in the, in the stream, man, you can't be too disappointed with what the score is right now. You, you started out terrible. You couldn't hit free throws. You couldn't get nothing. The Huskies were starting to grow a lead, and now you're only down by five at halftime. I think right now you that has to make you confident, if anything, because you know that you didn't play your best best half of basketball, and uh, you still have more left in the tank, and you can play better. And uh, only down five, still anybody's game. Still anybody's game, I think. Uh, this right now, you could reach into a hat, pick out a winner, and it could be anyone, man. So thank you guys. I'm going to take a quick break, though. I'll be back in about a, a minute or two. But thank you guys for hanging out. And hopefully you guys will still be here when I get back. we got the second half coming right up. I'm going to put on the audio for you guys, though, from the broadcast during the halftime. So you guys can listen along uh, with, I think it's the TNT Inside Crew tonight. So I think you'll get to listen to Chuck, EJ, and those guys. So uh, once I get back, we'll get rid of that. But while I'm gone, enjoy listening to the inside crew. I'll be right back. Yeah. It is in a commercial break, but it will be back in just a second, guys. Stay tuned. Blood Madness, new series, April 9th on Discovery and Stream on Max. So, it's the playoffs. What brings you two in here today? Why are you looking at me? Do you really have to ask? I'm going to knock your ass off. <laughs> Mr. Sensitive. Look, I know it can be stressful this time of year. I've been there. But great teammates build each other up. They trust that the other will be there for them when they need it the most. We're going to do a trust fall. Stand up. You close your eyes. Yeah, I've seen one of these before. Trust. What the? Oops. You set me up, duck. Set me up. I told you he was a dummy. This is AT&T at the half. Connect to the madness. 
Connecting changes everything. Man, that building has been rocking up there in Boston at TD Garden. And it rocked on that by Samson Johnson. 28-23 is your halftime score. Connecticut has not trailed, but they haven't run away from Illinois either. Welcome. AT&T at the half. Ernie Johnson, Clark Kellogg, Jay Wright, fresh from Atlanta where he was working the studio. Kenny the Jet Smith, Charles Barker. Did I miss anybody? Uh, <laughs> man, when this game started and UConn came out, coach, hit him in the mouth 9 nothing. You would have thought, uh oh, brace yourself. But give Illinois credit because they showed poise there and got themselves back in the game. Exact. Poise is the word. They took on a barrage, man, at the beginning of that game. They missed layups, they missed foul shots, and Connecticut kept coming at them. But Marcus Damask was so tough inside, drawing double teams, dumping for dunks. He got Tristan Newton on him here. He knows Tristan Newton cannot foul, he has to stay in the game. So he just took him right to the rack. And when they back off him because they're afraid of the back down ISO, he banged a three. Marcus Damask was the answer for Illinois in the first half offensively. 15 points on six of nine. Meantime, uh, Terrence Shannon just one for seven. Meantime, it's been it's been all the big guy for, for yeah. Connecticut in the first half. And aside from Donovan Klingon, nobody's done much. Not much at all, but he was dominant when he was on the floor, at both ends of the floor. He got a couple of block shots. He changed a number of others. And early on, because Coleman Hawkins doesn't have the size or the strength to deal with him, they went right over the top, and he got baskets at the rim easily. Here he is on the offensive glass. But there was no answer there. But you're right. Both of these teams outside of Damascus, who we just highlighted, and this big fella, Donovan Klingon, who was dominant, the other players have shot a combined 10 of 49 between the teams. So somebody else is going to have to get going. But he was outstanding in the minutes that he played. Let me see. Donovan was out there. I think it's his stamina. We were all wondering. He only played 12 minutes. He's had the foot injury. How can injury. they only have him for two blocks? He, he <laughs> definitely had more than two blocks in that first half. I don't know half. who's keeping the stats well, there, but he well, changed some other ones for sure. Well, I, I'm not going to give Illinois credit. <laughs> they should be ahead in this game. Between missed layups and free throws, they outplayed Connecticut. You know, Cleveland's the only one playing great for them, but Illinois played. They got punched in the mouth. They should be ahead in this yeah. game. They missed at least four or five layups. I'm like, and he's got them so intimidated you know, they're looking for him. They're open sometimes, but they're looking for him. Like, yo, man, just lay the ball in. If he blocks it, he blocks it. But they're rushing. But hey, they guys, I'm back. So but I'm going to listen into the inside crew Illinois with you guys. should be ahead in this game, in my opinion. I 100% I agree with Chuck on this was for the first time ever in my life. <laughs> and, like, they should be up. And, and with there are a couple of reasons then, uh, that they are still in the game. You know, we, we talked about Shannon early on getting downhill. So the one thing Shannon needs to pick it up. you have to be wary of, once he catches the ball here, this is when you have to make him veer off. You have to make him veer left, change direction right. But when he has a straight line to the basket, he's too strong, too powerful, and he can finish through. But the reason I thought that they didn't have it early on, they weren't finishing through contact. Here he's created the contact, and he had missed several early shots in here right into the chippies and not finishing through contact. Yeah, you got to fight. You got to battle through that contact for sure. Like Kenny's right. Layups, Chuck, because if you go in no easy here, ones. This is a, for a trip to the block. Final Four. So what, what you have to do now against the size is you have to create some contact. You create contact, you have to be able to finish through it. So those easy layups, they weren't finishing through contact, which if they had, they would be up eight points. They started to finish at the end. This is going to be a difficult game for UConn because they are getting the shots that they want. Huskies lead it 28-23 over the fighting Illini. And uh, look, Kenny agreed with Chuck. We'll all remember. <laughs> Write it on the calendar. Mark that down, guys. When he's telling you, 708. Kenny uh, agreed with Chuck. <laughs> a, a look ahead to the West Regional Final between Clemson and Alabama. We're going to have that game coming up for you guys next as well. Clemson, Bama. We just play it gritty, and we gave it our all, and we got it done. Oh, and Nelson got the block! Game over! Charles Barkley called us frail. I don't think he was frail tonight. Roll time! Ooh, shots fired at Chuck. Well, good morning to you, sir. I highly recommend Hey, guys, we got a commercial break, so I'm going to jump calls. back on the mic here and talk to you guys. Um, and give some shout-outs to everybody that's been in the chat while I was gone and while we were listening to the inside crew on that one. 
Uh, shout out to Angela Roselle. She says, Roll Tide from Snellville, Georgia. Uh, the refs have been letting them play a little better than a foul a thought. I got to agree with you there, Angela. Nobody wants, wants to watch a, a parade to the foul line back and forth, back and forth, right? This is uh, not the Macy's Thanksgiving Thanksgiving Day Parade, man. This is, uh, this is a little bit of basketball, and we want to watch these te- two teams get out and run. These, these guys are young, man. They're athletic. They got plenty of legs. Let them get up and down the floor. That's what's the most entertaining. And uh, so far, we've been getting a little bit of that. And if you're Illinois, it's going to be a little bit tougher. You got to make sure that you uh, finish, your, finish your chances at the rim. You know, and if it's not there, drive, kick, collapse the defense around you and look for shooters. And Illinois also has to get Shannon Jr. involved, man. I don't, I've said it a few times. I'm, I'm going to keep harping on it, too. When he is only got two points after averaging 23 a game this year, that is not good enough. That is not good enough. He, he needs to be better. And that's just it. There's, there's no other way around it. He's 1 of 7 from the floor tonight. He's got to find find a way to get his shot off. He's got to find a way to get the ball in space, whether he's got to create it or work off the ball. Uh, it's up to him to try to get open and try to be an impact player in this basketball game today. You know, and you got to give a, a, a big old salute to Domas because Domas has kept the fighting Illini in this, in this game today. Without him, this thing could be ugly. Uh, I still got to give Illinois some credit, though. They battled. They fought. It didn't look good for them early, but they found a way to get themselves back into this game. They had a couple chances to tie and take the lead. Uh, unfortunately for them, it's still a five-point Huskies lead, but they're still in really good shape. And as Kenny said, the Huskies right now, it's going to be tough for them because they're getting the shots that they want. And, you know, they're still only up by five. And that was not the best half of basketball for Illinois. They still get a lot a lot more left in the tank, and they can be a lot better than they were in that first half. Uh, DB's Cool Music 44 says, yeah, we just need to move the ball a bit more and get a few more three-pointers. Well, I don't think you can, you know, rely on that three-point shot all night. But if it's there, sure, you have to take it. But that would not be my game plan. My game plan was just continue to be aggressive, uh, get into the paint. If the shot's there, take it, man. Take it. Don't settle for threes. Uh, I know the home run ball is good, but it's not going to get you back in the game. It's there's no there's no five-point shots. You know what I mean? Like you gotta you gotta go in there and play your game. Don't let them force you to do something different than what you normally do and what's made you successful and got you gotten you to this point so far. I'm going to bring the uh, halftime audio back in, so sit back and enjoy, guys. It's what you dream about. You watch the one shining moment, and that's the biggest thrill. To be the one holding the net, that'd be unbelievable. Coming up next, stretch right here on TBS. A second team will punch its ticket to Phoenix when Clemson It's going to be a good game, too. We're going to have this game later on. Clemson and Bama, number five. six. Look, Clemson taking on number Clemson four, Alabama. So far. They've held their first Another trip to the final four digits on the under line. what they normally score. Can they do that against an Alabama team that will give you 90? I think they can, but they're going to have to score. They've been efficient at both ends of the floor, Ernie, in my opinion. They've done a nice job with their offense. They've They've executed extremely well. And defensively, they've been one of the best teams in the tournament. And I think they can. But the one thing about Alabama is they've actually turned it up defensively, too. Highest scoring team in the country. And they've shown when they've needed to play good defense, they've been able to do that. I I agree 100%. Alabama, all year, everybody's been saying they play no defense. They just go up and down. But in this tournament... At the end of the Grand Canyon game, they held Grand Canyon scoreless for the mm-hmm. last four minutes. A couple more At subscribers. The end of the Thank Carolina you, to new game, subscribers. Grant Nelson got into a switch, got a stop on R.J. Yeah. Davis. I always ask you guys that: Can can you turn it on at this time of the year? On our teams, I wanted it to be a habit: play defense. Can they turn it on defensively at this time of the year, Alabama? Well, they played the best defense they played all year. To me, it's going to come down to Clemson physicality inside. That's going to be different. I don't think. Alabama can beat anybody in a perimeter-oriented game because their guards are fantastic. And obviously, well, man, he just went crazy the other <laughs> night. But if Pitt, Clemson has to dominate the paint, in my opinion, to win the game. And I hate to say this, but Clemson has better interior scores than North Carolina. I just said Ooh. that. They, they do. Yeah. I, you didn't say that. Okay. You're right. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Very interior. And <laughs> I can't Hunter, believe you said it. Kenny doesn't want to agree with him twice in one court. night. I think that this is... 
Hold that tiger to the final four. <laughs> Didn't mean to give you the wrap up, but I had to give you the wrap up. Back more after this, but first, let's go over to the AT&T. Brother Cadet. BKL in the building. What up? Coaches JB Smoove and Kayla, who have got another important. How you been, dog? Haven't seen you around. Place. Hopefully you're well. Today we are connecting to free throw rituals. Let's learn a few. So we got another Classical commercial break uh, coming up here. Cook it. This is just an yeah, ad with J.B. Smooth. Nobody Good cares about what J.B. Smooth has to say. So we're going to kill the audio. Uh, and I'm going to pop back on. What up, Russ the Hunter? Some legends coming in here. We got almost 90 in the building now. Uh, how you doing, Russ? It was a crazy upset by NC State. Yeah. Yeah, it was. They got themselves into the final four, though, dude. March Madness Live, fourth quarter sports live stream. What do you guys think is the key to victory here uh, if you're UConn or if you're Illinois? I said, I think Illinois just has to continue doing what they were doing. I think uh, I think their game plan is solid. The execution was a little bit lax early on in the game, but they really picked it up down the, down the stretch. And UConn, I think you need to... I don't know what you need to do. You have to really... I'm not sure. That's a little bit. You kind of got me stumped, and that's rare. That's rare that you stump me. Uh, if I'm UConn, I think I just maybe got to turn up the intensity a little bit. Uh, it's going to be come down to those 50-50 balls, doing some of the dirty work, diving on the floor, going for loose balls, just try to out hustle Illinois. You got the best offense right now in the NCAA, so you're going to score. But if you outwork them, maybe that'll put you over the edge. Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome to the channel. My name is Big Zig. This is the fourth quarter sports live stream. We do this every day. Pretty well, not every day, but basically I'm up here streaming. Sometimes we do two, three games, uh, two, three games a day. Today we got two for us. As I said, Clemson and Alabama up next. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this one. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the next one. If you're in the stream, hit the like button, guys. It's free. It's cheap. And uh, it only takes you a fraction of a second to do it, and it really helps the stream grow. Uh, so shout out to everybody that's done that so far. Shout out to the legends in the chat as uh, we await the second half getting started here in Boston tonight. The TD Garden is rocking. A lot of UConn fans in the building as we uh, get this thing going. UConn, though, right now, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting finish. 28-23. Huskies up by five. Uh, we'll get back, I think, to the halftime audio here once we come back into this commercial break, and then we should be getting to uh, the second half here really soon. Now, Illinois, despite being down right now, I think their game plan is solid. I think they're in, I think they're in a good position to make a run at this thing. Try to get an upset. If it can be an upset, you get a number three team. It's hard to look at them as an underdog, but... When you're going up against the defending champs, that's what you are. Here's the audio. And we welcome you back, and congratulations to Jamie Erdahl and her husband, Sam, who welcomed their daughter, Nora James Buckman, into the family. Nora's big sisters, Brooke and Avery, are absolutely thrilled. We just saw her the other day in here. She was doing the update studio. Now she's got herself another youngin'. There nice you go. Going. Hi. You might know me from my other job, but I'm a business owner, too. Here at Once Upon a Farm, we chose the Capital One Venture. That was a quick commercial break there. Oh, my God. No preset spending Came back for like six seconds. Adapts to meet our <laughs> six seconds. Brother BKL has a message for me in the chat, though. Let's see what he's saying. I could see UConn getting uh, a bit more aggressive with their defense. They've been pretty good defensively, especially around the rim. They're blocking shots like crazy. They were definitely solid when it came to defending around the rim. Maybe a little bit more aggressive on their switches, uh, closing out on shooters. That I could agree with. But, yeah, UConn's been great around the rim defensively. Uh, they have five block shots in that first half. Two for Klingon, one for uh, Caravan, uh, one for Castle, and one for Spencer. I just think if I'm Iowa right now, I gotta be gotta be happy, right? Like you're down five. Shannon Junior's had a terrible first half. He only scored two points. 
when your best player's not playing well and you're only down five, that's going to leave you optimistic because you got to think at some, sometime, sometime soon that he's going to break out of that funk. You know, percentages don't lie. He's he's going to start making shots here at some point. And if you're UConn, you you just got to hope that he doesn't hit one and just all of a sudden go on fire. If he catches fire, it could be a long night for the Huskies and. Their season could come to an end here unexpectedly. 82 up in here. Let's go, guys. We need two more likes to get to 30. Let's make that happen. We're also going to have the NBA playoffs for you guys live on the channel. That's going to be fun. Uh, the NBA playoffs right around the corner. That season wrapping up. Teams right now jockeying and fighting for position, fighting for matchups. Teams trying to... Stay in the mix. Teams trying to get in that play-in tournament. We got the NFL season a few months away. Major League Baseball just starting. So there's not going to be any lack of content. No shortage of content, that's for sure, here on the channel. And here we go. AA Men's Back Basketball to the Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Nissan. Official partner of March Madness. Cologar. About to get back to the action here, too. Home and auto and save. And by Both teams are Subway. on the floor. Try a delicious get ready to get this thing started. Subway Second today. half. So say goodbye to the audio. Say hello to the best play-by-play -play on planet Earth, your boy Big Zig. Here we go. Clinging up top. He'll get it off to Spencer. I'm going to refresh our middle stats board just to make sure that it stays up with us. Down inside the Klingon. Klingon puts it up on the baseline, and it's good. And the Huskies will draw first blood here in the second half. So on the floor for Connecticut to start, Klingon, Newton, Spencer, Carabon, and Castle. And for Illinois, Domas, Gurrier, Shannon Jr., Hawkins, and Rodgers. First shot of the second half for Illinois is no good. Rebound. Here comes Spencer. Spencer off a screen from Klingon. Kicks it back up top to Klingon. Klingon now off to Newton. Newton driving, pick and roll. But Klingon, the pass deflected. Klingon gets it back. It goes out of bounds. Whose ball is it? They're not sure. They're all looking at each other. It's like that Spider-Man meme. They're going to say it's UConn ball. I'm going to say it was last touched. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to say it was last touched by Domask. I'm not sure. But the Huskies get it in quick. No time for a challenge. Castle. Over to Spencer. Spencer drives. He's cut off. Outside. Klingon for three. Shot clock was winding down. He had to shoot it. It won't go. Tip. Spencer drives. Misses the easy layup. Come on. What up, Stanley? What up, Football 12? Welcome to the stream, you guys. Appreciate you guys coming through. We got those 30 likes, too. Now let's go for 40. Domas on the wing. A jab step. Crossover. He'll drive. Back and down. Fading away. Won't go. Klingon snatches the rebound down off the rim. Stretch pass. Karaban lays it in. It's good. Beautiful stretch pass from Newton in transition. And the Huskies right now up five. Nine-nothing run for UConn. Shannon still remains quiet. Domas backing down in the middle. Throws it away. Throws it right to Klingon. Newton off the screen. And they're going to call a foul. It's a reach in against Domas because he tries to fight through the screen of Klingon. Let's get that chat going, guys. This is the chance to go to the final four. I need you guys to wake up. I thought college fans were crazy, rowdy folk. I need you guys going ham up in here, man. Turn up. UConn gets it in. Little dribble handoff on the outside. Newton ends up with it. Now to Castle inside Caraban. Backing down on Hawkins and a foul on Hawkins. Caravan, or sorry, clinging to the line. Clinging 
Klingon likes this matchup, and so do the Huskies. Him going against Hawkins. Actually, it's a Goody gets the foul on him. Klingon 11 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 blocks tonight. He misses the free throw. Stanley's a big UConn fan. Shout out to the Husky fans in here. Shout out to the Illini fans in the building too. 90 in the house right now. Let's get to that 100 viewer mark. There you go. Cha-ching. Free throw good. Klingon knocks it down. 12 on the game for him. Doma sprints up the floor. Newton stays with him. On the outside. Drops it off. Shannon. Ooh, Klingon blocks the dunk. Klingon with his fourth block of the game. The big fella playing big inside. Slam dunk Klingon. He's taking over. Bill Murray loving it in the crowd. The legend himself. And the Yukon Huskies are rolling here to start the second half. They have come out aggressive looking for blood. Let's go. Stanley liking what he sees. I think everybody's liking what they see if they're a UConn fan. Now, if you're a Illini fan, that is not the start you wanted to see. Huskies breaking this thing wide open. Too much one-on-one, -on -one, says DB's Cool Music 44. Clinging, man. What a game. Four blocks, 14 points, nine rebounds. Whew. Sheesh. That's the wrong button. Don't That's lose. the right one. No, he's fucking good. Snoop Dogg and Michael Rappaport like what they see. Bonnie Buddha says yes. Bonnie Buddha up in here. You guys can follow me on Facebook and Instagram too, guys. They're flashing down there by the sub counter. Uh, Zig Z I W G one nine eight four is the Instagram, and the Facebook is Fourth Quarter Sports. So uh, don't forget to holler at your boy. Holler at your boy. We got another new subscriber too. So we're at nineteen thousand seven hundred and twenty six. The grind continues towards twenty k. Snow Dragon says, "Come on, Illinois, make it close." Stanley says Klingon is so nasty. He's a big boy, and he's playing like a big boy right now, man. He is uh, hes trying to take over this game single-handedly, Stan. DB says too much one-on-one. -on -one. Got to move the ball. I can't argue with you, but it's the momentum, man. The momentum has shifted. Now, Illinois, hopefully this timeout will maybe get them back on the right path. We'll see if they can uh, settle down a little bit here. They kind of started the first half like this, too. They let UConn go on that big run to start the first half. Uh, but they can't make a habit of this, man. they gotta, they got to nip this in the bud right now. Who's rooting for who tonight in the stream? I know we got Illinois fans in here. I know we got UConn fans in the building. So uh, fly your flag, rep your squad, rep your school right now in the chat. I want to see Illinois or UConn in the chat right now. Let's flood that chat out. Shout out to all the legends. Fourth quarter sports live stream. Your boy Big Zig is up here on the microphone. Doing it big dog style. Grr. Huskies right now looking to take a bite of the Illini. Clinging right now. Playing like a superstar. Nine rigging rebounds. Blocks galore. There's Larry David in the building. Chewing on his nails. He must be nervous. Champagne Urban stand up, says Shatra. Let's go Illini, says Snow Dragon. Back underway. Don't mask with it. Left side way out on the perimeter. Gives it off. Shannon leaves his feet. Three ball. Nope. Gurrier can't knock it down. Long rebound grabbed by Shannon. The Gurrier sidestep. Goody! Halfway down. It won't go. Rebound Shannon. Ball goes out of bounds. Still going to be a line eye ball. 20 on the shot clock. Shampoo Bananas to Shane FR Sr. 
Shane F. Sr. in the building. What up, Shane? Good to see you again, my man. Shampoo banana. We're just saying random words now in, in, in combination. Honeycomb brush. I can do that, too. Into the corner. Pump fake. Hawkins. Nothing there. Kicks it out to three. Straight up cinder block. It's a brick. Heisenberg. Is there a new Heisenberg movie coming out? Caravan bully ball underneath. Knocking Domask out of his way and gets the bucket underneath right at the rim. The lead now is 14 for UConn. 37-23. Four for six from the field of the Huskies. And 0 for eight are the Illini here in the second half. Caravan three. No good. Rebound. Spencer floater money. And the Huskies are pumped. The crowd is going insane here in Boston. Time out Illinois again. Just trying to find a way to break the momentum. Trying to break the code right now that is the UConn Huskies. Wow. This has been an incredible start. Incredible four minutes or so here for the Huskies. Just coming out and going on a massive run to start the second half. This is, uh, this is what you expect from the number one team in the country. Now they're playing like defending champs. DB's Cool Music 44 says we're in big trouble now. It's not looking good. It's not, but this is a game of runs. If they did that to you, you can do that to them, DB. And uh, just get it back to single digits. I think that's going to be your first milestone you hit, it, hit. Get it back to nine and just keep chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. Stanley says shout out to all the Canadians in the house. Hey. Eh? Shout out, shout out to all the Canadians, eh? How you guys doing? Who should the Raptors select if they're able to keep their foray uh, uh, first round pick? I don't know. It depends on where they're at, but I don't know. Depends on what they're looking for. If they're looking for a big guy, I'd be looking at Zach Eady. Um, I don't know. There's a lot, a lot of good players. So there's not really any big standouts in this draft this year. Um, but there's a lot of guys that could mature and turn into something that's for sure there is some good players but i'm not knowing not really knowing it depends on what the team's looking for and kind of what what need they're looking to fill ap says a line i ill i nine says ap keep hope alive ll still a lot of time left yes there is lots of time but you can't waste it you can't waste it man 88 up in here. We only got 34 likes. What the hell? Man, come on. Are you serious, guys? You got more than double the people than we got thumbs up. Dude, you know how easy it is, is to hit a thumbs up? You just go tap your phone screen or click your mouse, man. Do it up. Show your boys some love for the best live play-by-play -play on YouTube. What's my take on Bronny James? I don't think he's trash. I think his game might be better suited for the NBA honestly um, you know the NCAA is a you know bigs are bigs in the in, in college ball in the in the NBA the paints a little bit more open there's a little bit more freedom of freedom freedom of movement it's a different game but uh, I don't know I think he should probably stay one more year in college just mature a little bit build up get a little bit stronger Stanley says pick Klingon Klingon right now is balling he played like this every single night. I'm sure the Raptors would be looking at him. 16-0 run here for the Huskies to start off this half. Let's go. Stanley says Bronny James sucks. Smelling salts. Let's go. <laughs> Yowzer. Woo. That'd make you taste things like you're in a Scooby-Doo movie. Downtown Hawkins, it's no good. Rebound Newton, but a foul on the floor. And it's going against the Huskies. It's going against Newton. That makes your eyes water, dude. Let's get to 100 in here. We got 99 in the house. Second half action. UConn trying to pull away. Domask inbounds. Stolen away. Guess who it is? It's Klingon. He's doing everything. 
Let's go. Klingon's third steal of the game. Four blocks. My man is a... He's defense all on his own. Diara underneath. Klingon bucket. Bucket. Count it. Call it what you want to call it. At the end of the day, it's two points for UConn. Bronny's going to get paid either way, and his dad's a billionaire. I don't think money's his problem, Shane. Pump fake. Drive. To the paint, and another block for Klingon. My man. No, 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 no. Get that weak shit out of here. Five blocks on the night. Three ball. Yes, it's good. It rattles. It falls. And the Huskies are rolling. 44-23. Illinois, what happened? Don't look now, but this is getting ugly. Three ball, Hawkins, no good, and a rebound for Spencer. Spencer, he gets hammered from behind by Hawkins. Looked like a lot of ball, but some body as well. And now they're trying to just keep these guys calm down. Temper's starting to boil over a little bit. I think that's the third personal on Hawkins, if I'm not mistaken. It is third personal. But it's clinging on the break, man. You got to hit him hard. He's a big guy. Free throw. Money. Valhalla Sports Talk up in here. What up, Valhalla? We got 96 in the building. 45-23 UConn. UConn just running away with this thing here to start this second half. And Klingon gets them both. Klingon's going to check out as we got a timeout called on the floor. Don't look now, but the UConn Huskies are UConn Huskying. No timeout. They're going to keep it going. Klingon does check out, though. Here's Shannon. Do something, Shannon. Do something. Blocked by Johnson underneath. Valhalla Sports Talk gives a membership. Shout out to Valhalla. If you got that membership, make sure you guys say thank you. Shane F. Sr. gets the membership. Welcome to the family once again, Shane. You're an OG. You deserve that membership. Say thank you to my man, Valhalla Sports Talk. Illinois, wake up. Borrow my smelling salts if you want. Three ball, goody, no good. Goody is no good. Oh, the stretch pass, Carabon, and the dunk and the foul on Shannon. Carabon hanging on the rim, and the Huskies fans are smiling. They can't believe it. Big play, big dunk for the Huskies. Gracias. Gracias, says Shane. Caravan with the two-hander. Second foul on Shannon Jr. Man, what the fuck happened to Shannon today? Averaging 23 and a half a night this year, and he has two points. Caravan gets the free throw to go. It's 51-23 UConn. The hearts and the 100s and the party emojis going in the chat. I love it. Appreciate it, guys. Here's Domask. Domask off the screen. They get the switch. He's working against Newton. Backing him down just inside the three-point line. Gaining some space here inside. Nice pass and a foul. It's going to go against... Spencer, I think, here. It'll be on the floor, so we'll get an inbound play from Illinois. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Wake up, chat. Chance to go to the final four on the line here for both these teams. UConn right now. UConn. Defending champs looking good. They steal the inbound pass. Picked off. Spencer. Diara lefty laying in transition, and they're up 30. This was a five-point game at halftime. 25-point 25 25-point 25 swing here. 30-0 run since the 149 mark in the first half. 
And now a foul against the Huskies. Wow. 30-0 run for UConn. Unbelievable, man. What a turnaround. What a swing. They won their last game by 30. They're trying to do it again tonight. They've outscored their opponents in the tournament by over 80. Now with what it is, it's over a 100-point differential they've had between their opponents. There's a miss on the reverse layup. That one no good for uh, DeAndre Johnson. Can't throw it down. Down the lane. There you go. First points of the second half for Illinois. Finally. First bucket in like 15 minutes. Football 12. Hi. <laughs> What's going on, dude? 53 to 25. Driving. Backing down Newton. Huskies in the paint and a foul. Has Illinois even scored a basket yet? They got one. One basket here in the second half, Brandon Waters. It's unbelievable. Shannon, two points, one of nine from the floor. That's terrible. That is terrible, Charles. That is terrible. If you ask me, it's... That's complete and utter bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. Tristan Newton, four points tonight. Misses the first free throw. Keep hitting that subscribe button, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you guys rolling through. Illinois needs to get their fucking head out of their ass right now, DB. That's what they need to do. Need to play some defense and put the ball in the hole. Second free throw will rattle home. It's good. What the hell is going on? 54-25. Shannon for three. Kenny, nope. It's an air ball. The ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be Illinois basketball. Shannon right now. Just folding, crumbling under the pressure. I'm going to refresh our middle stats just to make sure they're up to date. Shot inside and another miss for Illinois. Jalen Stewart, who just checked in, he gets the rebound. Now here's Newton. This is a beatdown, says John Liu inside. And another dunk. For the Huskies, Johnson powered at home. He now has eight on the ball game. 17-2 bench points here in favor of the Huskies tonight. Domas backing down. Double team comes. He splits it, but he blows the layup. He had to step through. He had the lane. He had the open layup, but he can't get it to go. Tiara, the king, kick to Stewart. High bounce off the rim. I get it. Shannon in a blocking foul against Diara. Lonnie says, is this Illinois State or Illinois University? I don't know, man. Is this the Illinois high school basketball team? I don't know. Is this the AAU team or something? This is ugly. We got a timeout on the floor, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Klingon, a double-double. 18, 10 points. And he has five blocks tonight. That is a, it's a monster game. Caraban, he has 10 points. Uh, Diara with nine. Johnson, eight. Spencer with six. Newton with five. Only person that's doing anything tonight uh, for Illinois is Domask. And he hasn't scored yet in the second half. He had 15 points in the first half. Gurrier has four. Two for Harmon. Two for Shannon Jr. Shannon, you need to wake the hell up, man. This is the biggest game of your life, and you're playing terrible. Uh, Hawkins, two points. Torian says, you know, I've noticed sometimes with some of the best teams that, you know, play really great, don't perform to the best of their ability. It's like they'll shoot the ball and a little jiggle around the rim instead of dropping down 
and about and it bounces back out. Nothing's going down for them here in the second half, man. UConn just came in and kicked in the door like they're Biggie Smalls, man. Kick in the door, wave in the full fall. All you heard was UConn don't hit me no more. Wow, man. Turned into a slaughter. Slaughter, welcome to fourth quarter sports where you never know what's going to happen. That is the beauty of live sports. Sometimes it's the underdogs. Sometimes it's the favorites. And right now the defending champs are kicking it into overdrive here, kicking some ass. Stay right here, guys. After this, we got Clemson and Alabama. Clemson and Bama. I think he was saying that as a rhetorical question, Stanley. I had to wet my whistle, man. I'm talking a lot up here tonight. A lot of the uh, Illinois fans, I think, are leaving right now, guys. Come on, guys. You guys got to... Got to be there through, through you know, thick and thin. You got to give some, send them some of that good mojo. Get in the chat, root them on. Be like uh, DB. DB's got their back. Some days it's your day. Sometimes it's some. Some days it's not. But you got to support your team. The good times and the bad. Elite Eight March Madness live on Fourth Quarter Sports. Fifty six twenty five, man. UConn just going ham. I gotta look at the what's the scoring differential so far in this third quarter. Oh, it's not on this page. Drive blocked. Spencer with the block. They get it back. Here they come again. Twenty eight to two. 28 to 2 here in the second half in favor of UConn. Newton up top to Johnson. Johnson hands it off to Spencer. Spencer into the paint. Teardrop off to the left. It won't go. There's a rebound. Goody pushes it up. Drive, and it's knocked out of the hands of Shannon Jr. And they're going to call a foul. That will send him to the line. Looking to double his point out, points output here tonight. If he can knock down both free throws, he has two. Trying to make it four. Travis Lober says, come on, you effing Illini. I need you to lose by 14. <laughs> what the fuck? He misses the free throw. Come on, Shannon. He's averaging 28 a night in this tournament. He has two points, man. 23 throughout the season, 28 in the tournament, and he has been an absolute no-show. There it is. He gets the second. Cha-ching. Three points. 28 to three here in the second half. 11 to 17 on the floor is UConn. There's a pass high, over the head and out of bounds. Turnover Huskies. Take one hell of a miraculous comeback, but anything's possible. This is basketball, but man, that's a big swing. You got to put up 30 on matched here. We just saw UConn pretty much do that. We'll see if the Illini can do it. Gonna need this guy to get it going. Shannon kicks it out. Three! Good! Knocked down by Hawkins. This is gonna be one of the more impressive performances from the Huskies so far in this tournament. They've looked good the entire tournament, but this second half, at least the first half, it has been unbelievable. Worked around outside. Spencer three, and they answer right back with one of their own. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you, say the Huskies. I had UConn winning it. All my Iowa women's playing Monday in the Elite Eight, says Sarah Spool. What up, Sarah? Welcome in. Good luck to your Iowa, Iowa women's team. 
And good luck to your uh, prediction of the Huskies getting the national championship again for back to back, going back to back. Torian says, don't hit me no mo. Kick in the dough, wave in the fo fo. All you heard is Huskies don't hit me no mo. Baylor and UFC, USC playing right now. 71-70. For USC. Somebody's bleeding, so they're going to take a little bit of a break here to get that cleaned up. Sarah says, thanks. UConn is too tough. They're, they're resilient, man. The way that they came out to start the second half really shows that they got a whole other level they can play at. When they dig deep and they decide to go, man, they're a hard team to stop. Their offense is unbelievable, but you got to give their defense credit here too, man. Their defense has been standing on their head, making some he some hella good plays. Especially uh, the big fella, Klingon. He's been everywhere. I think he has three steals, five blocks now. Free throw, no good, Shannon. What the hell, dude? You can't even hit a free throw tonight. I was hoping this thing was going to go down to the wire and be a battle, be a war, but not so much today. There you go. One of two again. Four points on the night. He's matched his numbers from the first half. Wasn't too hard to do. Well, it shouldn't have been too hard to do, at least. Newton backs it up. He's standing on a logo. Pass deflected out of bounds by Domask. Still going to be Huskies ball with 13 on the shot clock. Big swing and big zig, says Stanley. Appreciate everybody that's came through and hung out tonight. He's been great throughout the tournament, Sarah. Just bad today. Huskies have had his number. Spencer, crossover, shot clock down. Oh, what a play. Give and go. Spencer to Klingon. Back to Spencer for the easy one. 11 points now for Spencer. I got to turn this music off. I forgot to do that. Somebody should have told me. Hawkins kicks. Domas. Splash. Three ball. Domas, three for three from three. 18 points. The rest of the team, hot garbage. Hot steaming pile. That's complete and utter bullshit. Yep. Just call a spade a spade. Diara, the Spencer, the lob, clinging, slam dunk. Cock it back and bang it home. The UConn fans are on their feet. Looking like they're going back to the final four. 7.45 left to go. Shannon. Hawkins kicks to the corner. The three. No good. Fight for the rebound out of bounds. It's going back to Illinois. And a timeout on the floor here with 7.33 left to go. Caitlin Clark, another double-double. She's the real deal, Sarah. She is the real deal. No doubt about that. Wow. Insanity, man. What a game for the Yukon Huskies. A couple new subscribers, too, guys. Thank you guys very much for hitting that subscribe button. We're up to 19,728. John Lewis says Yukon just beat down their competitors. Man, I thought this was going to be a really good game tonight, but Yukon had other ideas. Sometimes teams, I feel like they just do stuff just to make me look bad. <laughs> just say, oh, Big Zig said this is going to be a good game. <laughs> Let's fuck him up and, <laughs> and just say, nope, not today. You're an idiot, Zig. It's okay. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. I don't get, a, I don't get too big of an ego. 
And I can't admit when I'm wrong. Because I'm definitely wrong today, man. I still thought UConn was going to win. Uh, but I didn't think it was going to be this convincing. So shout out to the Husky fans. Shout out to the uh, Illini fans too, man. You guys you guys have had a great season, but it looks like it's, it's all wrapping up. And, you know, for some of the guys that are on the floor tonight, this will be their last their last game they ever play when it comes to competitive basketball. So, you know, it's a rough way to go out in a game that you were only down five at the half and you guys looked like you guys still had a lot left in the tank to give. I was giving you guys props at halftime, but, man, the Huskies just came in and they shut the door, man. They dropped the hammer and said, that's enough. Enough of this shit. We, we're going to the Final Four. We want to defend our championship. And they have come out here and played on a whole different level during the second half. Stanley says, Klingon! Timeout on the floor. 74 up in here. Stay tuned, guys. I think we're just going to keep this stream open. Maybe change some details and we'll do the... Uh, Alabama and Clemson game right here in the same stream so if you guys want to watch that game it's another chance for those teams to go to the final four uh, just hang out right here don't have to go anywhere just don't change that dial same bad dial same bad channel hopefully we'll get a more competitive game in game number two of our double header tonight 14 of 20 in the second half is UConn and 3 of 22 in the second half so far is Illinois. What up, Adele? Your boy's back on camera tonight. Kicked out Hawkins. Hawkins wants a screen. He'll get it. Gets freed up. Outside. Open. Three. Good. Knocked down. They needed that one. refresh our game stats in the middle just to make sure that they're up to date for you guys Stanley says big zig for president I can't run for president man I'm not I'm not a US citizen drive slam dunk castle bringing down the house with the reverse slam the windmill jam putting on a show now are the Huskies Hansberry down low. They'll kick it back out. Kling in there. They don't want nothing to do with him. They work it back to the outside. Drive and a foul. That'll send Shannon to the line. What up, Joyce P? How you doing? Always lovely to see you. I'm back on camera. I'm feeling better, Adele. Not 100%, but I'm, I'm getting there. I damn near slept for two days. I was beat. I got a, one day I, I stayed in bed all day. I only got up for about 15 minutes to go take a shower. And I went right back to bed again. First free throw, good. Oh, I meant to turn that music off. You guys aren't telling me I'm leaving the music on. Tori Williams says, well, this UConn game was brought to you by Whiskey. Usually is Jim Beam or Evan Williams or Jack Daniels. But tonight, Whiskey was... AIDS under the Northern Lights. Try some Crown Royal. You'll love it, says Torian. No, none of those people sponsored my channel, so I don't want to give them free promo. If I wish I could get a Jack Daniels or a Crown Royal sponsor, though. I'd be up here having a drink right now. I've been on camera. Here's Castle. Castle kicks it off to Diara. Diara penetrates, scoop shot, it's good. 30-point UConn lead, 67-37, dogs. Here's Shannon. What are you going to do? Nice crossover, but no, goes nowhere with it. Drive, kicks it back out. Hansberry, pump fake, puts it up. Nope, skips across both rims, knocked out of bounds. Husky ball, last touch by Hawkins. I was busy on my OnlyFans. Yeah, I'd make less money on OnlyFans than I do on YouTube, and that's not saying a whole lot.
5.50 left to go. Diara going to carry it up here this time for UConn. Hit that like button if you're in the stream, guys. Try to get to 50. We were over 100 in the house at one point, but this game's getting a little ugly, so some people are bouncing. Down low, Caravan spins baseline. And a foul going on Hansberry. UConn's in the bonus, so this should be free throws. Oh, come on back. Give me that pop. I can feel you. Doesn't want to do it. Doesn't want to do it just like the Illinois offense. <laughs> just won't pop off. 20 and 10 with five blocks tonight for Donovan Kling Klingen. He also has a few steals today. I think he has three steals to go along with those ungodly numbers. It's three steals, yes. Hansbury three. Splash. Illinois hitting some shots, but it's late. I don't think it matters. 5 minutes left to go here in the ball game. 3 of 12 from 3 is Illinois here in this second half from 3. Inside clinging of a nice feed from Spencer and he'll lay it through lead back to 29 for Yukon. Hawkins outside. Hansbury sets the screen. Doesn't get the switch that he wants. Hawkins can't hit the three and a foul down low against UConn. Trying to fight for position for that rebound. Spencer, career high in rebounds for him. He's never had more than nine. In any game in his career, tonight he has 12 in the biggest game of his career. Spencer doing a great job rebounding as a guard tonight. Leads his team in rebounds. Free throw is good. Hansbury knocks it down. Looks like we're going to get some changes here. Looks like UConn's going to go to the bench uh, with 4.30 left to go. NCAA East Regional Final. The Elite Eight about to be going to the Final Four of the Yukon Huskies. Free throw goes down. We got a travel call. Uh, for, against Castle, so it's going to be Illinois ball. Shout out to Adele, Joyce B, Torian Williams. Uh, Stanley Lipka over there in that chat. All the OGs popping in the stream. Shout out to Sarah Small, John Lou. Everybody in that chat, you guys are awesome. Travis Lober. And now an offensive foul going against the Illini. It's going against Domask, and that's going to be his third. What else we got? We got Lonnie, DB's Cool Music, Brandon Waters. Football 12, Valhalla Sports Talk, Russ the Hunter in the building, Shane F. Sr., AP, Heisenberg in the building, Snow Dragon, Mark McCarthy, Angela Roselle, Aiden Tobin, Brother BKL, JJ, Ricky, Harold, Riz, everybody. Three ball, no good for UConn, and here comes Illinois again. Outside, Domask in the corner, Brick. That's terrible. Here they come, showtime, two-headed slam. In transition, and the Huskies continue to pad, pad, pad the stats here and add on. We refresh our, our uh, center screen again, make sure we got the right people out, out there for you. There is uh, players on the floor right now for Connecticut. It is Diara, Johnson, Stewart, Castle, and Ball. For Illinois, uh, Illinois it is Domask, Hansbury, Shannon, Gurrier, and Harmon. 
Uh, they'll play the winner of the next game, Stanley. They'll play the winner of um, Clemson and Alabama, I do believe. I do believe that's how the bracket works. They'll play the uh, winner of the next game. Clemson or Alabama. Come on, guys. We need six more likes to get the 50. Let's make that happen. What a game. What time does that next game start? Let's see. As I said, we'll do, we'll do it on this stream, but if it's going to be a break, uh, then we won't. Uh, we might have a little break, so I might go off the camera. It depends what time this one ends. It's saying tip-off for that one is around 9.49 my time, so that's 8.49 Eastern time. Uh, right now it's 8.07 Eastern, so we'll see how this one, uh, how long it takes to end up. If it does, uh, if we do have time that I can take a little break and get off camera, then I will. If not, um, we'll just keep this one open and just change the title and the thumb. This has been an incredible second half, man. UConn has put on a clinic here. School has been in session for the last 17 minutes or so. Started off the second half, going back into the first half, actually. They were on like a 30-0 to 0 run at one point. 30-to-zip run. It's unheard of. Illinois. Just can't find a way to put it in the in it, put it in the hole. <laughs> Forty two points they've scored tonight, and UConn with the best offense in the tournament, they've got seventy one and they've made this look look easy. Choice says oh, OnlyFans. Well, you don't think I could do OnlyFans, Joyce? Am I not good looking enough? I'm a silver fox up here with all these gray hairs in my beard. All these gray hairs. Joy's trying to burn me. Stanley trying to make fun of me. Defending champions right now looking like defending champs. Looking like they could go back to back. Like Mel Gibson and Dan Danny Glover on the cover of Lethal Weapon. Go back to back. Three thirty-three left to go. Triple threes on the clock here in the second. UConn ball, they get it in. Trap ball goes out of bounds, but it's still going to be UConn ball. Diara has to get away from him, but it's last touched by Illinois. So you guys want to see who the Huskies play next? We'll have that game coming up for you. Bucket. Inside, it's Shannon. He's got six. He's got eight, sorry. Eight now. At least that's what they say on the broadcast. My stats is saying six. So I'm going to refresh it just to make sure it's not wrong. Ball stolen away. Domas picks it off. Yeah, there we go. There's the proper numbers. Harmon's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line. Shoot two for Illinois. We got another new subscriber, everybody. The sub count continues to rise. 20,000 is in sight. The coach from the Huskies is drunk. Y'all on the court wiling out. This is Torian. He's probably already in the champagne celebrating going to the final four, Torian. Harmon, free throw. That's good. Give the Huskies a round of applause. It's 
What's up, Jeff? My name is Jeff. Diara, the castle, up the Florida ball, now back to Diara. Diara doubled. He'll just back up and get out of it, kick it off to Castle. Castle just killing clock right now. UConn with this massive lead inside the Johnson off his fingertips. They're going to say it was touched by Illinois, though, and it's going to stay with UConn. I don't know about that call. I think they're going to, yeah, they change it. Okay, that makes sense. Not that it really matters in the outcome of the game, but I'm feeling better, Jeff. I'm not 100%, but I'm getting there. Shannon drive, kick to the corner, the three, no good. Rebound snatched down by Castle. Castle to ball, ball blocked by Hawkins, but they're going to call a foul. So ball now go to the free throw line to shoot two for the Huskies. Clemson, Alabama coming up next. Make sure you guys subscribe and ring the bell to join us for that one. Diala in the paint, in one side, out the other. Diala outside just playing with it right now. The clock is not the friend of the Illinois Illini, obviously. Pass underneath, nearly broken up. Ball gets it back. Stewart inside Johnson. He'll lay it home with the left. Stolen. Ball contact. No whistle on that. Interesting. Behind the back pass. Shannon to Gurrier for three. 23-point game. Timeout UConn. Wow. 147 left to play here in this one. And it looks like I'm going to be shutting this stream down. And we'll jump into another one for before we uh, get started in that Clemson and Alabama game. Uh, like I said, man, make sure you guys hit subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, turn on post notifications so you guys get notified when I go live. It won't be long. I'll take maybe a 15-minute break. We'll probably come on a little bit early before tip-off. Tip-off is slated for 845, I think. Uh, 845 Eastern time, so it shouldn't be too too long. Big Ziga ding a ling sling a <laughs> Stanley. Hurley coming in, getting an ovation from the crowd here in Boston. Here's his mom. His mom, I bet he was back in the day, his mom was a firecracker, man. She doesn't look bad right now. The heartbreaker. Room of Gloom, that's a hell of a name. Shot, mid-range, it's good. Going to refresh our board so you guys can see who's on the floor. It's Johnson, Ross, Rumaglu, Ball, and Hurley for Connecticut. Domas, Shannon, Gurrier, Harmon, and Hawkins for Illinois. Illinois not pulling the plug yet, down 25 with a minute left to go. I don't know why those guys are still out there. It's over. Here's Ball. Ball directing traffic. Waves off Hurley. Going to give him the ball. Hurley, pump fake, step back. Gets it to Johnson. Trying to get it back to Hurley so he can take a shot. Everybody in the building knows it. Nice pass. Hurley to Ball for the finger roll. His mom clapping. Now we got a whistle and a foul going against UConn. 34.9 left to go. Golly, says Stan Van Gundy. Well, golly, shucks, G jumping jillikers. Sandra McKeon says new sub from Yukon Country. Go Huskies. What up, Sandra? Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for the support. And welcome to the channel. We're up to uh, 19,730 now. 
We're changing two numbers on our sub tracker. Awesome. Thank you very much, Sandra. Good luck to your Huskies the rest of the way. We'll have the next game live for you, too. Free throw is good for Illinois. Not that it matters. 77-52. Hurley with it. Crowd starting to celebrate here already. Looks like the Huskies might just take this shot clock violation. The clock stopped. The clock's malfunctioning. So they blow it dead here. They're going to have to figure out the clock situation. So they're probably going to take this under review. Oh, they're going to put 10 on the clock, I think, is what they're going to do. No, nope, they put 15 on the clock, 10 on the shot clock. No. Don't thank me. Thank you. You're welcome, and thank you as well. So, shot clock violation coming up. There it is. And the clock, the game clock continues to run again. The clock's having problems. They're going to have to reset it again. They should know how much time's on it. Yeah, 4.9. And here we go. UConn Huskies are going to the final four, baby. Turn up, Husky fans. The dogs are going back to the final four. The chance to defend their national championship. The reigning, defending UConn Huskies take care of business. Thank you guys so much. We're one like away from 50. Somebody hit that like button right now. And uh, I'm going to step away. I'm going to put on the audio for you uh, while I do take a break here. And uh, I may just keep this one open. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'll let you guys know what I'm going to do when I come back. Thank you guys for watching, though. You guys are the best. Big Zig out of here, at least for a couple minutes. Deuces. Peace. They get these big leads and never let up. There's yes. never a time where they let up. They just keep coming at you. Shot clock violation. Illinois will get it. So Illinois will inbound. The Yukon Huskies are going back to the final four to defend their title. The number one overall seed, Connecticut. We'll try to become the first program to repeat as a national champion in 17 years. UConn is going back to the Final Four. Wow. Wow is right. Wow. What a second half performance. I mean... We can talk about domination. That was more like decimation. UConn has got a new program record in wins, number 35 tonight. They will take on the winner of Alabama and Clemson coming up moments from now in Los Angeles. Can anybody give this team a competitive game, Dan? You know, that's a very good question, and I don't know the answer to that question because, as we've said, they come at you in all sorts of different ways. I mean, they can beat you inside, they can beat you outside. They put tremendous pressure on your defense with all their movement. They're a tremendous offensive rebounding team. I think that if anybody's going to beat them, and I, I think there's some really good teams left in this tournament, but no matter who you are, you're going to have to play your A, maybe your A-plus game, and UConn's going to have to have an off night. And UConn has had some off nights. As you said, they were 3 for 17 from 3 tonight. They've had a 3 for 22 game. I mean, they've had off nights. Well, they shot 33% in the first half. They only scored 28 points. And if that happens in another game, you've got to be ahead of them 40 to 28. You can't be behind by five points. But Illinois struggled to score today as well. And I think that's the other thing with UConn. They're a top-rated offense, but they're like in the offensive efficiency numbers, they're the eighth-rated defense in the country. Well, and what you said, I thought, in the open is key to UConn. Like, you can come into 
an Illinois game and say, all right, what are we going to do against Terrence Shannon? You can go to a Purdue game and talk about Zach Eady. He can't do that with UConn. All right, take it away, Andy Katz. All right, it was 23 all, and then it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Just turned it up and, and credit Illinois. I mean, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the hardest teams to play in this tournament. They're, uh, you know, incredibly well coached, NBA players, and they came into this game really, really, really hot. But, you know, systematically, we were able to break them down. I just talked to Andrea. She said this morning, you were crying. I cried all day. Why? Why were you crying all day? Oh, no, you just, um, it's not about really trying to, you know, win number six or go back to back. It's like, this time of year, you just, you love your team, and you just, you can't imagine what it would be like to not get up the next day and, and, and still coach your team. And uh, so Okay, you guys, learned, after man, you, you uh, hear yeah, from the, the Huskies here, really I'm going to shut this screen down. We're going to set another one up so I can get all the proper tags you know, and stuff into it. Uh, but make sure you guys yeah, ring the bell, too, subscribe, and uh, join us for the next game to see who the Huskies will face yeah, in the Final Four. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, this, that'll be it for me after you guys uh, hear from the coach here. His dad is in the Hall of Fame as a high school coach of renown. Now he's taking UConn to the Final Four again. For Dan Bonner, Stan Van Gundy, Andy Katz, and Gene Steratore. Kevin Arlen And that's the end of the broadcast, guys. I'll see you guys in about 10, 15 minutes for the next one. Thank you, guys. God bless. And good game to everybody. Shout out to Illinois, shout out to Yukon, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. But at the Mass Mutual Foundation, we believe that, you know...